Okay. Uh, so last time, um, at the beginning of the game, you were trying to figure out if Zaitaru was trying to figure out if there was any connection with cycles or holidays or other things that could be why um, why Sinestra would be <laughs> why Sinestra would be um, invoking the sacrificial ritual around this time. Uh, main theory is it could be the coming of the new moon um, transfer from spring to summer. Because I'm something to do with it. So you guys spent the night in the ruins uh, in the morning. Zaitari had an overwhelming sick feeling that washed over her, almost causing her to lose consciousness. And this Whee! time, yeah, and this time whatever she was, whatever Sinestra was doing, did take hold. And yeah, <laughs> this is the first paragraph. Um, uh, Sinestra's uh spell did take hold and she lost constitution um so now that your time was shorter uh you sought out a way to get to the chateau quicker uh Kaldon had suggested some bears uh but you guys had another plan and <laughs> spoke to hay uh, the bull leader of the uh, uh, herd of bullvine that was outside uh, Samosha. And in exchange for lots of food for his herd, uh, he would give you a lift there. And so Kiwi, the your new uh, dragon fairy guide, mentioned that it was a pretty good idea to use the bowl because so you can avoid the ghost bison that traveled in herds in the Golden Vale, which you had to cross. Um, so you made good time on the bowl. Uh, it wasn't as safe as you guys thought because uh, it turns out that the bull had its own habitat on his back. I apologize. In the, I apologize for the battle that took place. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, yes, <laughs> yes, they did. Um, so you, you fought the, the denizens on the bull's back and, you know, later after the battle, you guys noticed there, there was a mockingbird that had been tailing you for a little bit. Uh, turned out after you shot said mockingbird that you it turned into a, another bird. It turned into another bird, and you figured out it was a druid. Um, so when he had landed, it turned out to be a black bear humanoid druid named Sign. And he was curious about the bull because you guys were very close to the bear kingdom, so he wanted to see what was up. Um, him and Melanie had a conversation about possibly bringing the bear king on their side or something of that nature, and Sign said he'd pass on the message. So, uh, as night approached, uh, you got, Nekneven finally got in contact with Zaitari. Uh, after learning that you guys were headed to the chateau, uh, she suggested that you come to the Witching Hour, which is the mountain that she is on, because Relkath is actually at the mountain right now. And since he was the Summer King, he used to live in said chateau. Uh, so with the bull um, and the guarantee that the traps... Uh, that would normally be up coming to the witching hour will be lowered for your entrance. Uh, you guys head there now where the queen of witches dwells. So, any questions? Comments? Things? Nope. Okay. I am going to post a quick reminder of the fairy rules, though, for everybody uh, in the chat as soon as I find them in the... Uh, no thank yous. Don't no say thank you. No names and... Uh, be polite. Be polite. Don't say your full name. Don't say thank you. Don't accept gifts. Don't dance. Don't accept gifts. That was the other one. All that stuff too. 
Yeah, yeah. the fairy rings. I feel like is, is just it's, yeah. I think it's probably knowledge. not a, not really a problem anymore. Um. Also, uh, we have dragon's eye oak acorns. Some of us do. Uh, that increase the spells. Um. Uh, have a 10% chance of increasing a spell's effectiveness uh, by one slot level. Um, and Fey Cherries that give a protection from uh, evil spell for five minutes. Nope, yep, remember that. Who has the Fey Cherries? Uh, I have a Fey Cherry. Them out, so everyone has at least one. Okay, alright. I couldn't remember how many you guys were able to get. Yeah, I put it in my Oh, so very long inventory <laughs> list. Yep. Same, and that's why I wanted to remind people. Yes, thank you, know, you for the reminder. There. I legitimately forgot about them. Yep, me too. Until I was like, oh checking. yes, that's in my inventory. Okay, okay. cool. Uh, so you guys head to the witching hour. So from the distance, the witching hour actually looks like this. There is a giant. Crystal uh, that is embedded in the top of the mountain. Uh, you had, as I tell you, you had seen this crystal before in your little uh, dreams, especially the yeah, first time. My vision your, quest. Yeah, your vision quests uh, to uh, the witching hour. Um, so I would like everybody to roll perception checks for me as the bull is meandering along. Uh, heading towards this enormous uh, violet-hued mountain. Uh, can somebody w do one for Ronnie at advantage? Yeah. Hold on. I only reiterate because he has advantage. <laughs> Bittersweet's, is, Bittersweet's sheet is loading. Alright. I, I got him if somebody didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. I got him at advantage. So, advantage, perception. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Okay, uh, Rain, let me get out my dice. Can you guys hear me chewing or or not? No. I think it was only occasionally. I ate a crunchy pizza roll a second ago that I'd left in too long, so that might have been it. Okay. okay, I just thought it was breathing. Yeah, my breathing is crunchy? God damn. Well, no, it wasn't crunchy. It, was, <laughs> it's, it sounded, I don't know, like you were breathing in. Oh, you know what? It might have been when I was blowing on it to cool it down. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> there you yeah, go, man. Yeah, mystery solved. Yep. Um, yeah, I was I wondering what that. I was like, yeah, maybe she just needs to take a deep breath or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Rain, Ronnie, and Tilda. Uh, am I missing any right now? Uh, you guys are on the ball, and you guys are looking around, and you see little glimpses down below of movement. Um, and it's, it's, it is at this time you see what can be described as what you think in your mind is a pixie, or many numbers, a, a numerous pixies. What's like a grouping of pixies called? I'm not sure. A uh, Pixar. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh, somebody asked it on D and D behind the screen. Let's see. A troop of pixies. Nobody's saying Pixar yet. A pester. <laughs> An annoyance. A, a sparkle pester. of pixies. I like, I like a pester though. That's my favorite so far. Yeah. Um. These uh, individual pixies look very, though you probably wouldn't call them that in this case, very ugly. Um, mm. They have like elongated noses, some have like weirdly shaped like cauliflower ears, some have eyes They've that gotten look... into lots of fights. Yep, <laughs> they're all boxers. They, yep. <laughs> uh, not all of them have, it's just different aspects of their figure look very unusual um some have one eye that's bigger than the other some Stop it. <laughs> some 
You see these oh, horrible. So Bittersweet sees it too. Yeah, yeah. Bittersweet yeah. also sees the horrible looking pixies, and they're not <laughs> making any movement to like attack or, you know, c- catch a te- too much attention to themselves. They are watching you guys as you pass by. They're they're observing you. Well, we're we're in the witching hour now, right? You are in the witching hour now. Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Because Nick Nevin said that we would have safe passage, mm-hmm. so. Um, so you, uh, you 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 travel for a little bit, and then you get to the base of the mountain, and it's very mm-hmm. clear that Hay is not going to be able to traverse this mountain. Are the pixies still following us? They're not following and, like, you. You're looking ju- at us. They were just as you were passing by. Uh, they were they were observing you, but they okay. were making no mention. They they were making no motion to like attack or talk to you, and you know they did not follow you as you were going by. They just probably happened to be there, and okay. they saw you, and then you know you guys went on with your business. Okay, cool. Mm. Um, should we maybe uh, should we maybe leave Hay down here, and we could even. Assuming Bittersweet was okay with it, go ahead and cast that lovely plant enhancement dinner spell, and then uh, head up to the witching hour. I was actually just about to suggest the same thing. Uh, we are I... both brilliant. <laughs> sure. Um, Bittersweet, can you also um, cast Speak with Animals and let Hay know that we'll be back? Bit to sweet? Internet problems? Maybe. Presumably. Heather. Heather. Heather, 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 Heather. Art thou muted? Heather. So, she might be having, like, serious. Yeah, I think her issues. internet might have went out. <laughs> and stuff. So we can pretend that. Yeah, we can pretend that that, that happened. Yeah, we'll yeah. There, um, yep. there she goes. There she goes. We will pretend that that happened. Um, I'm pretty sure that Bittersweet will agree mm. to this. Yeah, we'll clear it. I yeah. mean, because even if we do get into an altercation on the mountain, I think it's just one third level spell slot or something like that. Yeah, I, it's either third or fourth, but yeah, but it, it's in the grand scheme of things. You they know, haven't used anything else yet today, so they'll probably be cool with it. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll be all right. Okay, so you try you, uh, you uh, you have bittersweet uh, cast speak with ammos. Do uh, you have bittersweet cast speak with ammos, and you begin to traverse this tall mountain. Um, how how large are we talking? Like large hill or like the Rockies? Probably a. We're probably talking about between large hill and Rockies. It's okay. it's, <laughs> it's and it's, it's a very big like gap, Darren. <laughs> it's it's not the largest mountain you've ever seen. Um, okay, but it's comparable. I'm thinking like Appalachians. Yeah, Appala- yeah, the Appalachians. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, but uh, don't so- think, hey, <laughs> damn it, no thank yous. We already <laughs> went over this. Well, Sarah, I don't think he's smart enough to to get us on that. You don't know that. <laughs> he has an intelligence of like three. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> he's a creature in the Feywild. So Kiwi's there, and he's like, "Well, I guess I'm coming along with you." Hello. Hi. It'll be fine, Kiwi. Hi. Maybe, maybe this will. I fucking got a new modem and router to stop this from happening, but maybe it's just the internet. Look, it's probably just the internet. Who do you have as a provider? Wave. Never heard of them. Um, yeah, must it's be local. local. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wonder who their parent company is. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. 
Um, by the uh, way, yes, Heather, uh, did you hear me when I said don't think way don't think hey? Oh no, it's no. I I don't say thank you. <laughs> thank you for your service. Yes, but I, I yes. I'll speak with animals, um, and I will cat. I will tell hey. Uh, so we have to go into that. We have to go up that mountain, that crystal, mm. for a while. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, just out of like curiosity, you hear? Mm -hmm. uh, how long more travel? Uh, Roll an I insight check too. <laughs> okay, I have. Uh, are can you? Are you able to access my sheet? Because yeah, uh, I have yeah. to go through this whole thing again. Yeah, don't don't worry. I, I got it. I got it. I got, I got it. Don't worry about it. I have like a plus ten or something. I don't okay. Know. Though I think I remember off the top of my head. Um, I have a plus five. It's like it's, I think it's a day and a half to the chateau from the witching hour <clears> if we keep using hay. And I think we're just gonna have hay. There drop you go. Us Twenty three. Okay. Um, we actually get there. You get to you get the sense that he's getting a little bit antsy, you know, being away from the herd. So mm. that's that's all. <laughs> Uh, so I will I will turn to everyone else and ask, uh, how much longer do we need Hay's services? Um, we'll have him drop us off within half a day's walk of the chateau, like outside the boundaries as well. But we'll Ooh. talk to Nick Nevin and figure it out. But just tell him two days at most. Uh, I will. I'll turn to I'll go back to hay and say two risings of one at most mm. and we should only be up for a few hours mm. okay would um, you like something to eat he looks around uh and he says yes please I don't <laughs> and it's like don't want to eat tiny flying people accidentally. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll find wherever I can find a patch of like any kind of greenery. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will cast that grove. Okay. Uh, he, he's very grateful um, for mm -hmm. that. And uh, yeah, he doesn't want to get any uh, pixies in his teeth. Um, yeah. I, I, didn't I didn't recall. Um... Okay, so as you're looking up, there it looks like there normally isn't a path here, um, but it seems as if the brambles and the bri and the thorny briars have made a path through themselves, as if something it. A force has been pushing against them, but you don't see the force in question, and it's the the plants are actually opened a path to you up the mountain, up the lower portion of the mountain where there is vegetation. Um, you guys start uh, climbing the mountain mm -hmm. and weaving your way uh, through. Uh, up this path, which is, it's a little narrow, um, and especially for probably Ronnie, whose shell is a little bit uh, wide, and for Bittersweet, who's a little bit larger than average, it's, uh -huh. it's a little, it's slightly uncomfortable, because this path looks like it was made for somebody of probably Zaitari or Melanie's size. Um, you know, hu standard humanoid medium-sized creatures. Um, I was about to say, what the hell are Rain and I? Chopped liver? <laughs> no, I you would be included in that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was just picking, I was just save. <laughs> I was just picking the first two people I saw on my in in the in the voice chat. <laughs> and I'm insulted. Lynn and Mallory are the first two people. Anyways. Um 
So you go, go up this uh, mountain path. As you get closer to the crystal, you look up, and the sky, which is normally a you know bluish, sometimes grayish color, it's very similar to the the plane you are from, starts turning a lovely um, purplish, pinkish to violet to deep indigo, and the the color seems to fluctuate in the sky. This wasn't happening when you were on the ground level. Um, things That's not ominous at all. <laughs> things become colder, but not to the point where you would need uh, heavy clothing. It's akin to more of a, a nice fall day without the, 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 the wind that sometimes cuts through. Um, as you walk up the mountain, you do spot, um, and they're not, and they're not hiding at all. You s see more of those, uh, pixie fairy type creatures that you saw on the, uh, at the ground level. Um, you also see every once in a while, uh, cause you have encountered these creatures before. You do see some variation what uh, what you do consider as a hag, mm -hmm. uh, but they do not make you know they they don't even look at you as you climb the mountain. They look like they're busy doing their own um, errands. Uh, one of them you see clearly a night hag because of the deep blue skin. Looks like that she is harvesting some kind of plants off the path. Another one uh, that looks like a very, very large hag, um, taller than even the night hag that you passed, uh, seems to tow that seems she would tower over her, is picking up what looks like a very large rock, but the very large rock has clusters of different colored crystals attached to it, and she's inspecting it and looking at it and. You know, picking off one of the crystals, holding it up to whatever light it can catch, and it's like discarding it to the floor, um, as if she was rummaging around picking the best fruit in the bin. Hmm. Um, uh, question. Yes. Does it look like that large hag has iron teeth? <laughs> um, row an investigation check. <laughs> like your your investigation. I was thinking the same thing. thing. That's really good for me. Um, I mean, you uh, you catch her t uh, a glint of her teeth while she's picking mm -hmm. up like another crystal, and you know, looks like she's grinning as if she's like, "Oh, this one was a good one." Um, <laughs> no iron teeth. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. So you continue up. Uh, the hair, the, the hair, the air <laughs> gets a little heavier. Um, and because of this elevation, it, you know, it takes you a little while to adjust to the altitude. Um, but when you're near the top, you do hear uh, sounds. Um, there's some chanting. Uh, there's talking. Every once in a while, there is a slight rumble, um, as if maybe a fire, uh, a couple fireworks were going off, but without the pretty lights. Um, when you get to the top of the mountain, uh, you are now at the base of where the crystal sits. There is a large open area with a huge bonfire in the center of it. Behind the bonfire, there looks like a large cave entrance. Um, there are all sorts of individuals here. There are more of those pixies. There are hags. There are what you think are human, human women, but you're not sure. Um, hmm. They're like they're not in their own cliques, but they're in you know s some of them are in mixed groups. Some of them are like sitting down, um, tribe um, you know, uh, tribal style like with mortar and pestos. Looks like they're grinding up things. A couple others looks like they're carving. Um, 
kind of like a big crafting weird event that's going on um <laughs> Some of them are... Um, they're in, a, they're in a, a witch crafting circle. Pretty much. Um, and you do see... Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> ha. Get out. I actually... <laughs> that was 100% pun unintended. I did not think about it sure. until you said uh -huh. that. No, I'm... Okay. <laughs> I wish I was that clever. <laughs> um, you do see Nick Nevin. Um... For those who have not seen Nick Nevin before, uh, Nick Nevin, me. yeah, for for you and probably Ronnie. Um, I think that's everybody. Except I was for about me. to say no. It's everyone's except Saitari, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh. think anybody would have had any reason to see her before. Um, Zaitari, when you had spoken to her in your, you know, in your dreams, she was. She was taller than the average human woman, yeah. but she wasn't, you know, she, and she was still, like, an imposing figure. But yeah. when you see now her she's now... a giant woman. Oh, she she is a very, very large woman. Um, she's at least maybe taller than an ogre. Um, she has fiery red curly hair that goes all the way down past her shoulders, down her waist. Um, her face is painted with a few blue circles, um, with a little, like, stripe of blue under her bottom lip. Uh, she currently carries a large ring that looks like it's one continuous round blade. Um, she, and she wears this very long flowing green dress and she has like everything about her there's nothing soft about her she is she is all angles she is sharp and when she when you guys uh step near the top of like you know near the entrance of the air, uh near the bonfire um she turns around and she she smiles, and you see what she was looking at or working on. Uh, you see Elena. Um, and I believe that most people had near the end of the game when you were, uh, when Relkath had, you know, had become not part of her, but she became a vessel. Mm -hmm. um, she, you saw the runes, you saw the cold iron runes and the orichalcum like etching in her skin. Um, now she, she generally looks like a, a, a like a disfigured, uh, tiefling. But now that you, now that you see her again, she does not look the same, quite the same when you last left her. You, mm -hmm. you see that the cold iron runes on her skin are starting to crack. And there's th this like red um, flesh that's beginning, like r even redder than her her skin already. There's this red flesh that's beco becoming to crack, like it's a wound that has been, as if a wound has been had scabbed and been picked at, but it's not healing and it's not scarring over. Um, and she looks she looks very tired. Um, she, she's currently, um, sitting down and it looks like that some of the cold iron and orichalcum on her skin, um, looks like it has been physically stitched back together. Um, but oh. in other places, it looks like those stitches are becoming to be becoming, um, undone. Um, it looks like maybe whatever Nick Nevin or her... Uh, followers are doing is helping but not helping for long so it looks yeah. like Nick Nevin was doing some work on the orichalcum parts of the skin um, uh, you see Nick Nevin she waves over a few of the human uh, individuals or what you see what seems to be human individuals over to Elena uh, while she 
takes uh she starts going uh coming towards you and she says welcome to the witching hour uh, zaitari was uh, your trip here i was i'm hoping it was uneventful yes very much so great um we have a few things to discuss um if i would imagine uh... we have many things to discuss actually um, I'm going to look at Elena. She's... Her vessel, for a short period of time, can contain an archface spirit. Um, but this was a lot longer than we were expecting. So the runes on her are starting to unravel. Um... But we can discuss this. For, this is part of the discussion I want to have with you. Um, and I'd rather have this discussion in private. And she looks around to her, around her followers, who are looking up um, cur in curiosity. Uh, but they're not doing, like, anything other than working on their errands. Um, if you would all please follow me inside, and she points to the large cavern behind the bonfire, I will explain um, more of this, and maybe afterwards we can uh, speak to Relkath. Um, come. So she, she turns around. Uh, you see that the human witches are starting to work on Elena, and she goes into the cavern. Did you guys want to take a look around before following her, or did you want to go with go follow her immediately? I mean, I'm just gonna follow her. Okay. So. Bit yeah. Bittersweet is so hesitant. Like their ears are like flat back against their skull, and all of the like fur on the back of their neck is like hackled. Shackles. Out. Like, yeah. Like, this place is giving them every single kind of heebie-jeebie imaginable. Yeah. They um, are surrounded by hags. Yeah. This is you see, very off-putting. You, you take a look at Kiwi, and Kiwi yeah. is like, you know, most of the time he's been with you guys. He's been mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, chill. chill. He's Blase. been really chill. Lecherous and chill. Mm -hmm. Lecherous yeah. and chill. Right now, he has not, like, since you've, like, come in proximity of the upper portion of the mountain, he has not said a word to you. He is looking <laughs> around like, I don't this is like, I, like fuck you, this. Yeah, yeah. he's like, fuck this shit, why am I here? Um, oh, but funny. at the same time, he's like he seems to be like, but I don't want to be alone here <laughs> mm. in this area. Yeah. Tilda would just uh, kind of very um, like putting ki like kind of under the guise of scratching her nose or like you know something like that kind of whisper to Zaitari you sure you trust this woman? Oh I'm fine if you want to stay back I understand absolutely not no. I'm not letting you go in there alone <sighs> precisely Um, Sounds like a party. <laughs> <laughs> um, party. And bittersweet, yeah. if you if you allow it, like Kiwi is like like the closer you get to the cavern, the closer mm -hmm. like Kiwi is like edging towards you. Like, please yeah. don't leave me alone here. Please don't I leave will, me alone. Yes, here. I will. I will. I will just scoop. I will just bend down and scoop Kiwi up into my arms. Uh, he... Like a like a scared cat. <laughs> yeah, like, just... like a scared cat. <laughs> like pushing itself into your neck. Yeah. And, if, um, any, if any of these hags drift anywhere near me, I am going to growl at them. <laughs> okay. And you, when you pick up Kiwi, and he's not, like, he's letting you do this. He's not fighting you at no. all. Like, he is slightly shaking. It's okay. And he's like, I'll, this, this, this place, I don't know if you're feeling the same things I'm feeling, but it ain't good. Like, this... This whole place is like, you Bad. know that feeling, like if you, if there's like a, a bug that crawls on you, it's mm -hmm. it's like that except like a million times worse. I'm sorry, but <laughs> you are. I'll, protect, I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Thank you, thank you kindly. 
All right. Um, so you guys go in, um, and for for a cave, it's a pretty well furnished cave. Um, all the comforts of if you didn't know you had walked into the into a cave, you would have thought that you had just entered a very nice cottage in the woods. Um, there is no dirt floor at all. Instead, the, the floor is made out of a polished uh, dark stone. There's a lovely woven rug with uh, a, a large full moon in the center of it. Um, there's a very nice uh, iron stove it looks like it's for cooking um lovely pieces like herbs hanging off the wall even the wall which you expected to be made out of rock um has been replaced with like beautiful mosaic like looks like you know stone or crystals or tiles that somebody had you know adhered to the wall and makes a beautiful wavy pattern hey. I... so you're at Nick Nevin's house <laughs> <laughs> there's a bunch of hags Kiwi is scared as shit <laughs> and you're muted oh no <laughs> okay as long as you know <laughs> um <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's, 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 and, you know, the, the room is very large. There is a beautiful mahogany round table in the center of the room, um, with eight chairs. Oh, shit. Damn. Uh, yeah, you're in an arch phase lair and she's about to have a conversation with you. Are you Okay. Yeah, no, if, if victimless. Good. Was, Ow. French fry. Hold, hold on. Someone, I was trying, <laughs> uh, someone was trying to break into a vacated apartment. So. Oh, that's bad. It's bad, but there's there's no one in imminent danger, so. Yeah. At least not yet. Well, take a moment, catch your breath. It's been a week. Sounds like it. I mean, it's actually been several weeks since we've played. Yes. Yeah. Also true. <laughs> okay, I'm back. French fry wanted food. What else is new? Um, so yeah, you, you've cr so where we've left off, uh, where I left off, you guys went up the witching hour to visit McNeverin. You're in her place. She's making some tea. Uh, there was a beautiful mahogany table. Uh, she motions for you all to sit. Uh, Kiwi has not moved at all. <laughs> he's just, he's like, like, he's murmuring to himself at this point. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I am not in the lair with Archfey. No, uh, I'm not. <laughs> really wish I had calm emotions so I could chill him the fuck out. Um, uh, I will. I will very gently start, sort of like rocking Kiwi, mm -hmm. um, like you would like with a scared cat or a scared baby. Okay, he does not make any motions to fight. <laughs> <laughs> he is very appreciative. Um. Kind of just like kind of snuggles in. The shaking is starting to, you know, to stop. Um, so McDevin will, you know, put out some tea. Um, there are cups in the center of the table if you wish to serve yourselves. Um, and she will say, uh, "I appreciate that you all have come here today." Uh, because so you are going to the chateau I assume to take care of business as you should um, 
So there are a few things, as you've noticed, your friend Elena came to me. She has taken care of her business on her plane. Um, she had gotten rid of Octi, um, which was fine and good. And that's when she noticed the runes on her skin were starting to break down. So uh, my followers and I are currently helping her with that. We should be able to, with stronger materials, keep them from breaking down for a short period of amount of time. Um, Relkath told me something very interesting. I had mentioned to him that you were headed to the chateau. And I had also asked him if he knew if there was a way for you guys to get in undetected. Um, because, well, if you went through the front door, you probably all would be killed before you even reached her throne room. Let's be honest. Mm. True. Um, Relcast says there is a way in. Um, next to the chateau, there is a place called the Lake of Dreams. Um, within the Lake of Dreams, there is a secret entrance into her home. Um, this was to be an escape route for Relkath if he was ever caught within his own home and had to make a, a escape. Um, when I had asked him if if this entrance could be compromised, if, you know, say, Sinestra knew about the entrance, Relkath said that was very highly unlikely. Um, the only individuals that would be able to use the entrance were... were if it was himself, or if he had willingly gave a part of himself to the people who needed to escape. So, and knowing what Relkath once was, he was, he was somewhat of a, a dryad person, um, it's the best way to describe his <laughs> fey body, um, of the past. Oh, okay, you're saying what he actually looked at, like, yeah. I thought you were saying that, like, he had a thing for triads. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. He was actually, like, a plant person. Gotcha. Um, yes. Um, I, I don't, I highly doubt that Tanestra would know about that entranceway. Um, so, that's all well and good. But, there's one problem. Um, in order for him to allow you to use that entrance, he has to give you a part of himself, which he currently doesn't really have. <laughs> yeah, because he is a spirit. And yes. Yes. Um, when he had first come to me, I had, or when you had first reached out to me, I became interested in researching um, alternatives to a, a new vessel for him. And I think I have something. But I don't think my followers, my followers she points out towards the cave entrance, will be able to get said vessel. Have any of you ever heard of a dragon leaf tree? Can I make a check? Yeah, you guys can make an arcana have any check. Have of us ever heard of a dragon leaf tree? Yeah, just make an arcana uh check. Impressive. <laughs> totally heard of it. You totally heard of it. Uh, oh yeah, okay. dragon tree. No problem. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a tree to shape a dragon. Like, oh yeah, we have one of those in the backyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. He like leans over to <laughs> Melanie and Rain is like, it's pretty clearly a tree that has leaves that are just like dry. <laughs> <laughs> They say this with authority. <laughs> um, <laughs> bittersweet. When when she says that, mm -hmm. uh, Kiwi's ears perk. Like he, he, his head perks up a little bit. Just kind of like, hmm, what? <laughs> um, but he doesn't. He doesn't say anything to that heaven. Um, a dragon leaf tree are these. 
beautifully these beautiful magnificent trees that are imbued with characteristics of their uh dragon masters um do tilda and yeah. Zaitari know? you know you know what a dragon leaf tree is uh the they are trees uh that are imbued with breath weapons um, mm. So in order to create a dragon leaf tree, a dragon, uh, a, an older dragon, has to give up his breath weapon for one month. This, oh no. This enables... <laughs> oh no, in the, the thousand... Year. <laughs> yeah, there are thousands of year lifespan. Um, this one in... month. <laughs> this imbues the tree with the breath weapon. It also imbues the tree with immunities towards the element it was imbued with. Hmm. It also makes the tree a great sentinel. Um, so Nick never goes to explain that these trees, uh, dragons will make groves of these trees to protect their lairs, their horde, whatever they find important to them. Um, Usually dragon leaf trees, uh, Zaitar and this is Tilda and Zaitari knowledge, usually dragon leaf trees, when there's a grove of dragon leaf trees, uh, they consist of one type of dragon leaf tree. So for, let's pretend if it's a gold dragon, they're all gold gra dragon leaf trees and they breathe fire. But if a, another dragon wants to show loyalty, respect uh, to another dragon, uh, that, like, like a silver to a gold, the silver dragon will give a tree from his grove to the 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 other dragon as a show of like respect or as part of a deal. Um, this so you'll often find mixed groves with very powerful dragon lords. Um, Nick Neverin explains that recently. Um, there had been a dragon in close proximity, um, to the witching hour, uh, that went by the name of, let me get my, there we go, um, best dress, so. Best dress? That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Bestrat. Yeah. Uh, the the lava of destruction. Um, the lava of destruction. Mm -hmm. The lava wielder of destruction. Sorry. Ooh, okay. Oh, sure. Sounds legit. Yeah. Um, he had sounds like missing fire. fire. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds like he should be part of some kind of chromatic group of dragons and like <laughs> want to bring down all of the world or something. He had mm. recently passed away. Oh. No, nope, never mind. Um, <laughs> That's a real shame. Yes, it is a real shame. He had recently <laughs> passed away, but McNeverin says he has a grove or had a grove of dragon leaf trees. And she would like one of them to be brought back to the mountain so she can put Relcath in it. And how do, we, tree? how do we bring back a whole tree? You have a bowl. What? You have, we a, have a bowl. Bowl? bowl. Oh, a, a bowl. bowl. I heard we bowl. Have bowl. We have a bowl. <laughs> we were thinking, I, I thought you said... Bowl, like B O W L, oh, not a bowl. Pardon, mm -hmm. I, I, I should, I should have enunciated. How, better. how big is this tree? <sighs> Does it propagate like a normal tree? How are we supposed to get it out of the ground? Well, um, can't we just take a sprig and then do magic to make a big tree? Oh. Yes, we have a druid. I pointed bittersweet. <laughs> There's I, uh, it, if she so much as looks at me, I will make myself as small as possible. <laughs> um, so there's a little, there's, there's a small problem with, with creating a new dragon leaf tree. So let me get to the part 
where it says about propagating a dragon leaf tree because there are rules about that. <laughs> oh boy. Um, where is this? Uh, this one is in Tome of Beasts. Ooh. Dragon leaf tree. There we go. Propagation. Oh, I didn't realize you were reading from a book. <laughs> she takes a book off the shelf. Um. <laughs> Uh, some impact, finest druids, blah blah blah. Uh, jostling the trees, wrong one. Gifts, weapons, crafted. Um, it takes even with druidic magic, it takes a very long time if you're if you want to like take a cutting of the tree hmm. um and it's time you guys it, it's time you guys don't have it <laughs> like um i'm not sure i figured that your group is resourceful enough to figure out how to do that um maybe some type of moving of the earth or something of the like you're resourceful um, where, where do we have to go to sorry go ahead um, where does the tree have to end up? Here. And where do we have to go? Um, there is an extinct volcano. Okay, I'm going to pull out the map. Okay, oh, I see. Okay, so she looks at the map, and let me just get the map. Uh, where I've you... had this open since you've given it to us. Okay. I can give you the link. No, I have I have it on my desktop. All right. Um, going to start praying. Okay. Um, the mountain in question is, I'm trying to get the direction in my head, so that would be north, south, southeast of the witching hour, um, right, right east, east, yes, east, right east of where you see the Merkin Draw Swamp listed, right below the witching hour, that's where, yeah. that's where the extinct volcano is. Okay. How long is it going to take for us to do this little errand? Um, well, hopefully a day. Or less. Um, hopefully which, less. Hopefully less. Which reminds me, I need to give you something. Um, we need to make sure that... I don't <clears throat> die? Exactly. Um, so Yeah, I was just about to ask about the whole... You said that you had something to help with the intense death pains that I'm feeling. I do. I do. Um, uh, she is actually going to go over to a table. Um, she There's a set of drawers. She goes under her drawers. She gets out mm -hmm. a very large knife. She gets out a very large knife. What are you doing with that? <laughs> she looks at you and she's like, patience. Uh, she grabs, um, she grabs, uh, between two fingers, some of her hair and she cuts it and she comes back to the table and she starts making a little braid from the hair and ties the two ends and she hands this to you. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. That should help against whatever Sinestra is doing to you currently. Um, and I'm going to actually, I need to get the, uh, stats for it. So give me a second. Uh, I'm going to try to, to divine, divinely intervene and get the tree to us like instantly. Oh, <laughs> do it. See your trees fast travel. <laughs> I wish there was a dragon tree right oh, out. Oh, no. damn. All right. We're just that a couple, been a couple tens good, too high. That would yeah. have been real good if the tree just showed up on the table. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, I didn't, I, I, I didn't think about that, but okay. Um, uh, no one ever thinks about divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been, I mean, I, I, it was, it's legit. Uh, 
Nobody expects the divine intervention. Divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> it never works. That's why everyone never anticipates it. Not unless you're level 20. Yeah. I wish more than anything, more than life, more than the moon. Uh -huh. I wish you'd be a the tree here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll use this divine intervention for a very good purpose tomorrow after my long rest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll continue to make excellent choices with it. Um, ignore uh, as an well, it's technically is an action, but she's, yeah. she's giving it to you now. And for you, it would be. Um, for you, it would be that. If you oh, chose, okay. yeah. If you chose to give this to somebody else, it would be the regular one. Yeah. Okay. No, fuck that. I'm keeping it on myself. <laughs> I already have enough hard of. I already have a hard enough time doing fucking con saves, uh, especially now that it's. Lowered <laughs> so that it's a plus zero, <laughs> and I lost so many hit points. So, yeah, she'll give that to you, and she says, Carry that on you, please don't lose it. Um, and this should give you adequate protection until we can deal with her directly. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. I'll put it somewhere where I'm not going to lose it. Okay. Fair. Um, in your shoe? No, I was thinking more like in my bra. Fair enough. Uh, You'll notice that the balance I feel like that would off. be very itchy. Well, I imagine Nick Nevin is an archfey. Her hair is magically soft. <laughs> Fair enough. Best of shards. One or the other. She she is it, it's as soft as a Argor um Argorian, Argorian maid. No, not Argorian <laughs> maid. Angorian bunny fur. Ah, oh. nice. Which I got the pet today because like I walked out of the building uh at Harvard Square and somebody had like set up like some 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 animals out there, which I had no oh. idea of. So we were Probably like an some adoption. No, because there were like there was a pig, there was some goats, there were some chickens and ducks, and oh. there was the the pen of rabbits, which were oh, all like just super like a petting zoo. Yeah, pretty much a petting zoo. And it was like I got the pet one on the rabbit. It was super soft. It had the floppy ears. Um, yeah, it was great. And and they were all mm. chill. They were like, yeah, we've done this before. <laughs> um, pig was not named Sesame. <laughs> Aww, Sesame Pig. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I don't recall what the other animals are named, but I just remember the pig because it's named Sesame. Um, and she said it twice. Um, but yeah, she gives you that. And because you're holding him bittersweet, as Nick Nevin is talking about this plan, Kiwi goes from I don't like being here to what does this woman think she's smoking look like especially when she says the says the words you know go get the dragon leaf tree and bring it back so we could put an arch fay in it he... i will say <laughs> my passive insight is a 20. you you probably do i notice yeah you notice this you think this weird kiwi he is, looks uh, at you <laughs> is there something you, w you want to end you're looking very befuddled right now. And he looks at Nick, at Nick Nevin, who's looking at him. Not with, like, any, like, look in particular. There's a hint of curiosity behind her own look. Her own look. Um, and Kiwi says, well, I, I don't... I wish not to, to speak out of turn, my good lady. But 
do you know if this dragon leaf tree was made by Bestras himself or was this tree part of or are are these trees part of a a mixed grove and you see you see Nick Nevin slightly cock her head in curiosity and then there's there's a slight realization that she starts, like, she's starting to realize something, but she doesn't say anything. She just kind of nods, and she says, I can see why that would upset you. And Kiwi just goes back a little tight-lipped. Um, can I do an insight check yeah. on all of this? Yeah, you can. Um, what are you trying to discern? Like, why he's kind of, like, like, irked? Um, I'm more wondering what she realized and, like, why she seems to... Why she said that to Kiwi. Hmm. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I can understand why that would unnerve you or something like that. So, really shitty roll. Well, given the fact that you know about dragon leaf trees because of your high roll, um, when it, it, the words that keyed you in were, you know, what, you know, was this from him? Was was this a tree created by the dragon himself, or was this given a tree given to him, pretty much? Mm -hmm. And you kind of get the sense that trees given to another dragon. It's like a, a, a like a, a, a like a kind of a more of like a sacred traditional bond, and maybe the fact that you guys might be taking one of these trees is kind of getting under his skin. It's kind of a sacrilege. Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't say anything more. He he just kind of just like goes back into his like little huddled position every once in a while glancing at you guys and and then also coming to a realization oh great i just talked to an arch freight okay i'm getting back in here <laughs> isn't good um like he had that seed of like bravery and now it's just like right i remember where i am <laughs> uh i would like to point out also that we don't have hay forever. He's already getting antsy. Mm. He wants to go back to his herd. I see. Yes, that's why I'm hoping that we can finish this quickly. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be any problem for all of you. I mean, you've handled dragons before, and this one is dead. Um, oh. It's just getting a tree onto hay. Um, and bringing it back, putting Raukath in it, so he can give a part of himself to you. Oh, yes. So simple. I mean, How you guys... How much money do we have? Um, we have an amount. How much are you looking for? Enough for a planar ally to go do this for us. And how much does that cost? A thousand an hour. Uh, I can give a thousand. If... Or ten thousand per day. Jesus. We don't have ten thousand. Not in the group funds, anyway. Um, although I don't know what the Mithril Algor currency costs. Like, what that conversion would be I, I I mean well Ronnie can't to count be, that's the problem <laughs> I can't count I just know numbers like every time I say number Ronnie's eyes go blank a little bit and he like he goes slack face and like, 1000 gold per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I know this because my this God is divine knowledge <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like an automated system when you're like calling for internet help mm -hmm. say hourly wage um, they also could just take a donation. It doesn't have to be money. They just require a sizable donation. 
of some kind. Oh, I see. Okay. Or we can barter with it. I just, I say, hey, I need help, and a planar ally shows up, and then we kind of negotiate from I there. feel like between me and Tilda, we could barter the shit out of this planar ally. Because <laughs> I have expertise in persuasion. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Me too. But I would also never fail a persuasion check, so not bad. True. Between the three of us. <laughs> Especially because Rain's a hoarder. We could probably pull something out and be like, look at this lovely <laughs> lamp. I don't, <laughs> I don't really have a defense, but I dump most of my shit so I can get a lot of new shit. So maybe. <clears throat> um, it also that... makes Julian fries. <laughs> I also, have, <laughs> I also have <laughs> somehow still have a hundred gold pieces worth of fine jewelry. Um, you do have, I have to be able to talk to it. If it doesn't speak common, you gotta speak its language. I have celestial. <laughs> me too. I super don't. Oh, well, me and Tilda will be able to take care of this shit. Oh, okay, because um, yeah, it, it'll take me ten minutes. Um, but... It doesn't necessarily require payment. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. It, sometimes it's like, here's a price tag. And sometimes it's like, what do you got for me? It's... Now, 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 Ronnie, you say it takes a thousand gold an hour or so. Ten thousand a day. Did I say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Number. Maybe what we should do is just get there. Get the help. Get it on them and get back. I mean, there could be, who knows what we get there. Maybe some big enough to defeat an ally. Who knows? Sure. I just thought it'd be good to have an angel carry the tree for us. Um, just so you know how big these things are, and Nick Nevin will tell you how big uh, dragon leaf trees can get. Um, let me go back to the page. Oh, they... uh, I did take a look. It was very big. Yeah, they're very big. Uh, they could get up to, I believe, up to uh, 45 feet. Uh, well, uh, typically standing at 15 feet tall and weighing 3,000 pounds. And yeah, certain angels are also very big and very, very exactly. strong. Exactly. <laughs> um, but they can get upwards of 45 feet. Those are the probably the ones that live to 1,000 years. Dear Torm, send me your buffest angel. <laughs> <laughs> the one who never skip leg day, not even once. <laughs> A special Ew. swole dude just for me. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Can we find an agate worth a lot of money? Um, because I possibly I, have one. Because I could just ask Bree to come to us. Hmm. 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 That what would, would that? Hmm. What spell would that be? Awaken. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I actually it. thought about the fact that if we needed to get it back here, we could just awaken it. And just walk it. Uh -huh. Hold it to us. Three. So, uh, Nick Would Nevin's... that interfere with it and getting the other creature into it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so Nick Nevin says th normally that would be a fine case. Um, but because it would be it would be much easier if the tree was not sentient. Hmm. Hmm. That's a fair point. I was yeah. like, even Rain figured that out. <laughs> that's 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 cowards talk is what it is. <laughs> Let us fight an ant. Alright. Uh that was my idea. Um because yeah, I'm looking at the druid spell list right now. And there's not tons of stuff that's going to let me move this thing. No, there's really not. Um, like, move, move Earth is a sixth level, which I can't get. I think Plan Your Ally is a good idea, except I don't think we should like send it off to do it. I think we should no, go there. No, we should go with it. Well, if we do it, I think that, okay, so it might not agree to help us for very long. So I think we should go there be like at the tree and then be like hey can we have help getting this tree back? Oh, yep. it's like yeah take the tree out of the ground put it on Hay's back you're done not even <laughs> uh depending on what it is it can teleport oh yeah mm. 
Yeah, but I think we should already be there. That way we're... Yeah, we can spend 100 for a hundred gold. A very small amount of time compared Just to travel time. We need literally one minute of your time. Hug this tree and teleport. <laughs> <laughs> this spot. And you're done. Oh, this six level spell and spend ten minutes to ask you this small favor. Teleport this tree. <laughs> It's like, Tyr, please, please just give us your smartest angel. Tyr that or Torm? Yeah. It's Tyr. I misspoke. Tyr. Okay. Tyr. Give us your strongest boy. Yeah, give us your strongest angel that has Most always wanted to boy. bench press a tree. The one who can, who can <laughs> the paint the material. Have to pay it. Best name. Get this tree back. Uh, all right. It's only yeah, 100 gold for one minute, so. Yeah. And that's not too bad. Hmm. All right. So. All right. I guess we're getting a fucking dragon tree. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this Arbor Day? Um, once we acquire this tree and you've put the spirit of um, Relkath, yes. was it? Mm -hmm. That was his name, right? Of Relkath into it, and he is meant to give us a part of himself. Mm -hmm. What would that step entail? Um, Pollen. Uh, I can't heal a tree. This, if he is, breaks some, himself. this is some kind of stamen action. Well, <laughs> he, he had mentioned in the past sure. he would give a, a, a branch or leaf. Oh yeah, that's more boring. a different kind of propagation. Hmm. Hey guys, maybe in fifteen years we could have our own dragon leaf tree at the keep. Yeah, so it takes fifty years. Uh, I I read the text, so fifty years for a uh, cutting to be grow into a full tree. <sighs> so if we take a cutting Rage of this tree with long. us mm -hmm. to back to the material plane mm -hmm. and 50 years pass between the fate like when we left and when we returned <laughs> do we have an instant tree you sure it's all works you have your best hope not <laughs> i hope i'm ronnie will die instantly but <laughs> you'll have a tree. but you'll have a cool tree <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> that well, rain well, and Melanie and bittersweet. That actually can, reminds me of something admire. I wanted to ask. Uh, <clears throat> Nick Nevin, I have a quick question. Yes? I've been doing a lot of reading on the Feywild, and I know time is real weird here. Yes, it is. to the material plane. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to not go back to the material plane and find out that we've missed like a hundred years and all of our friends and family are dead can you prevent that maybe um hmm side quest is in another castle <laughs> I can use my divine intervention for that. <laughs> <laughs> I could... If you give me a little time, because I'm working on the implanting the soul of one being into a plant. Of course, this would not need to matter until we are done with our business at the chateau. I can probably minimalize the effects. So... You probably, I could probably, the best I can probably do is make sure that you've been here for weeks. Okay. That's still fine. Just as long as it's not years. Noted. <laughs> All right, let's go get this fucking tree. All right. Um, all right. Well, safe journeys to you. And um, the the passing of Bestras was 
pretty recent, so you might be able to still find something, some things of his down there. Because he, she was here for your like, what if we summon a planar being <laughs> to, to carry this tree out for us? But we uh, need money. Okay, so we might find sweet, sweet loot. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was about to ask for clarification. Did uh, dragon bits, fleshy bits, or dragon horde parts? <laughs> Or both. Por que ah, los dos? <laughs> that's how the time warp table works. Okay. Yeah. Just as long as it's not a 20. <laughs> mm-hmm. The one time you don't want a 20. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, just make it a 1. <laughs> Use a port and roll. Anyways. Oh. Uh, I don't know if that... I don't know if you can. Mm, get a 1. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're 13 and 15 right now. That's yes. all I can do. Honestly, that's still not that bad on the time warp table. Yes. All right, so uh, Nick Nevin wishes you good luck um, and wishes for a uh, speedy return uh, for Elena's sake. So, you guys head out. Uh, any preparations you'd like to do before you head to the extinct volcano? No. I don't think so. Uh, uh, nothing I could think of. I will attempt to explain to Hay mm -hmm. why we're changing direction. Okay. Um, Hay's like... Okay. Like, uh -huh. he, he understands, like, it's important for you to do this. Uh -huh. But at the same time, he's like, what's a volcano? <laughs> uh, what What's, like, he tries to wrap his head around, like, dragon. Like, you know, Kiwi's a dragon, but he's like, but this she is so small. Um, like, Much bigger. Yeah. Your size. Mm, mm. Bigger. Ugh. He doesn't like that. This one's dead. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> um, okay. Um, roll, um, roll persuasion check, actually. Hmm. 18. Okay. Uh, so he was like, okay, so he understands, it's like, okay, we need to, you guys need to go here to get something, bring it back, and then we can go, okay, fine. Um, but the food that you've been giving him has been pretty good, so he's mm -hmm. just like, alright, 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 alright. <laughs> Another day, it's fine, the matriarch will be fine. <laughs> She's enormous, she can kill anything. <laughs> You uh, must have faith in your big, beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> he explains that uh, she he saw her once step on one of those really, really big people, like bigger than, taller than you, taller uh -huh. uh, than like many of the humans, the humans and the humanoids he's seen, and just like it went, squ they went squish. It wasn't even she's, an issue. She's amazing. Mm. I miss very lucky. I miss her. You'll see her again soon. I hope I so. I promise. Alright. So... <laughs> <laughs> On to this is the okay, love we story. all miss someone, okay? <laughs> this is the love story for an A for the ages. A and his big, beautiful wife. <laughs> see, I was really hoping he had no object permanence and he was just gonna be like, who? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna know what's like, true what? love. <laughs> Like a baby. <laughs> oh my god, my cat's being very cute. <laughs> he's he's washing his tummy, and so he's like got himself all sort of like tangled tangled up and weird. Hmm. Okay, so you guys. Oh, I do have pictures. Um. Of Hay's big beautiful wife. No. <laughs> oh. I I mean. Bunnies. <gasps> Bunnies! Buns! And... Oh, how 
And... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He's uh, water. he's uh, oh, gross. It's, it's it's okay. Kay Martin's washing his butthole now. So and that's uh, sneaky. Yeah, it's sesame. <laughs> sesame. That's a little pot belly pig. Yep. I love pigs. Me too. My favorite animal. They're pretty good. They're very smart too. Can be terrifying. But oh. <laughs> It's a uh, mat thirty to fifty feral hogs. <laughs> Wait, what? Thirty to fifty feral hogs in three to five minutes. God, I woke up. I woke up to that, and I'm just like, no, what? none of us have enough guns to deal with the thirty to fifty feral what the hogs fuck? that are all going okay. to invade our backyards. Okay. I'm so hey, uh, old. <laughs> hey, an explanation. Um, someone on Twitter said that there's no, there's no fucking reason to own an assault rifle. There's no like, reason to own an AK-47, and some guy. Was what like, happens? what do I? D how do I deal with the thirty to fifty ho feral hogs that run into my backyard within three to five minutes of my children playing? I, I am convinced that guy was being sarcastic because there's no fucking way he was being serious. No, it's feral hogs are an extreme problem in the southern United States, but the pr the solution to that problem is not to own an AK-47. No, especially when you're shooting at hogs near your children. Yeah. 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 But th yes, there are massive herds of just feral, very uh, extremely territorial, violent feral hogs that have just colonized much of the South. Yeah, um, they are extremely successful creatures. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, yes, I uh, I do have it on good authority. Uh, Kay, are you in the South? I'm not, but I grew up in Colorado, and we had mm -hmm. a wild hog problem. Yeah. And yeah, and I have I have it on good authority too from someone who lives in Louisiana that that they are in fact assholes. Uh, in, on up. both yeah, on both sides. Like both north anything. and south. They're like badgers but faster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like they they've got that attitude problem, but also they can bring the pain. Yeah. So so the 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 response to the tweets has been hilarious because it's like like are feral pigs a problem? Yes. Is the solution to the problem assault rifles? No, absolutely not. They, that's not even going to work with feral hogs. You're not a great shot. You just shoot them, and then they're bleeding and still running at you. Uh -huh. If Princess Mononoke taught us anything, it's that a feral hog cannot be brought down <laughs> by a single oh. fucking person. <laughs> they're awful and they're tough. Okay, they're like a they're like a Dark Souls boss in real life. There's a there's a reason why boar hunting was like a huge thing. If in one like gets injured times. and the other ones are fine, they all eat it. Cannibalistic. Like you guys have seen boar hunting spears, oh. right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like where they have the huge cross guard on the end of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's feral hogs are closer to boars than they are to regular pigs. Yeah, I mean, they, they started the War of the Five Kings, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. Okay. What? Game, Game, of, Thrones. Thrones. Game of Thrones. Oh. All right. I'm trying to think of something to go with the one tusky boy on the things that could take out uh, King Robert Baratheon, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> But I'm not sure what the other side of that <laughs> meme is. So you head towards the extinct volcano <laughs> on Hay. <laughs> yep. Talking about pigs. Um, <laughs> on edge. Uh, you guys are having a feral hog discussion. Um, they're vicious. <laughs> uh, sometimes they can become astro hogs. So fierce. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've never heard of the great astro hog? Anyways, yeah, somebody has to explain that. There, there are astro hogs. Do we? Like, <laughs> Ronnie and Bittersweet are having this conversation very seriously, and everyone else is like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, hogs. <laughs> um, you guys head towards the extinct volcano. Um, and, and Kiwi's like, would, would it be okay if, like, while y'all go up into the uh, the volcano, I stay with Hay because I I I don't want to be part of the uh, the uh, whole removing of the uh, dragon leaf tree from the sacred groves of once was a 
Uh, if the plan works, the only one involved is the angel. Fair enough. <laughs> but I kind of don't want to see it happen, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna and stay out of the way and stay with the giant bull, <laughs> if that's okay with y'all. I don't think y'all need me to go up into a volcano to get a tree. We don't want someone to hijack our ride either, you know. Yeah. I'll be your uh, I'll be your bowl alarm in case that happens. Be our low jack. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Jack. Um. So he's gonna like, just stay behind while you guys do this. Um. So you guys head towards. And it's roughly located, it's, it's a volcano, it's different from all the other mountains in the area. Um, this, this isn't a, exactly an area that is known for its volcanic activity. So the, the volcano is, is pretty, it's pretty easy to spot. Um, it is a mountain of smaller size than the one Nick Nevin was on. Uh, currently, currently, uh, very, there's very bare vegetation around it. Um, you notice as bull, uh, the, uh, bull approaches the mountain that there isn't too much wildlife around here. Probably because there was a dragon in here at some point. Uh, the wildlife is a little scarce. Um... But you do see hints of vegetation starting to come back to the region. Um, you do see a couple of scrub brush bushes that are starting to bear leaves um, in little buds. There are not, like, the larger wildlife, but, like, the smaller wildlife of, like, birds while you're on bull. And when you get uh, the bull, and when you get off hay, you'll see like little rodents and smaller, smaller um, animals around, and a couple owls, that kind of thing. Um, you do notice that there is, you guys don't have to roll perception check to see this, uh, about roughly maybe 150 feet up, there is a huge cavern opening in the side of the volcano. Probably big enough for a dragon. <laughs> One might call it <laughs> a dragon cave. Yes. Are we going in through that or are we making our own hole? I think we're going to... Nope, I was trying to make a joke, but I couldn't think of anything witty so yeah i think we're just gonna use the hole that's already there well no reason to drag on <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself <laughs> i don't get it ha -ha. very funny tilda you hear a kiwi sigh <laughs> uh i will um very like I, I will carry Kiwi up to Hay's head, mm -hmm. where uh, it's probably a little bit safer because, uh, you know, not probably not as much ticks. Yep. Uh, not as much hair exposure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I I will uh set him down up there and say, "Be good." Oh, I will. <laughs> you no come. narcotics labs. <laughs> I put that that life behind me years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we only doing the elf weed now. <laughs> uh, I will uh, sort of pat them on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no. Uh, safe travels to y'all. Come back soon. Um, all right. So, how are you gonna get up? <laughs> to the cavern. I think we're going to take I've our got portable a hole. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, so...
So I could waste a spell slot and polymorph myself into a giant eagle. But I feel like we should just utilize the portable hole and the flying uh, how stick. How many of us are there? One. I don't four, think five, Ronnie can fit in there with everyone. Three. With because of his his girth mm. and the fact that he weighs almost five hundred pounds. Well, I could polymorph Ronnie into a giant eagle. I could just cast fly on Ronnie. If you Whatever. want to do that. Please tell me someone has reduced now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm fit in there with anyone. <laughs> um, hang on, let me look at something real quick. Uh, I don't have any appropriate spells prepared for today to, for me to travel. Well, um, I think between the brim. Unless there's a river nearby and I can surf up the mountain with <laughs> control water. I've, like, I've got nothing. <laughs> I, yeah, I think between um, I think because we don't need rain to use my uh, broom this time because like it's not like we're sneaking in we're just yeah. so yeah we're just going compile, in the rest of you compile into the hole i cast fly on ronnie and then we both fly up to yeah the hole. yeah it sounds fine to me or um if you don't want to use what level spell is fly it's third Oh, okay. Polymorph is fourth, so... Yeah. I never get to use this spell. Yeah, you might as well. And flying will help me be a little bit quieter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're not <laughs> sneaking, like I said. You know, most likely there's not... I mean... There might be... So far we there's haven't There's probably gonna across... be murder in the cave, not outside of it. Yeah, I'm more concerned about traps and stuff, so... I can't yeah, set that's fair. off them on the ground. That's true. And it's up to ten minutes. So, you know, however long we have after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, everybody okay. pile in. Yep, I'll hand you my bag, yep. Tilda, and hop in the hole. Oh, wait, you don't trust me no more? Did Gary, what's up with that? <laughs> Just get in the You're hole, getting in the fucking hole, too? Rain. Broom I don't want to end up in the astral plane. Broom kicks too. Get in the hole, Rain. I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Rain's ever been in the hole. Yeah, exactly. Get in the fucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's your time to get in the hole. It's the hazing ritual. Uh, uh, I don't think I will. If Run naked around campus three times and hop in the portable hole. Oh, right, right hand. Hand. <laughs> don't make me don't make me cast command on you. Don't get slippery mind on fifteen. <laughs> Rain, why don't you want to go into the hole? Not what I do. She's being obtuse. Would I say it help? I poke my head out of the hole. Would it help uh, if I would it help if I pushed you in? <laughs> no. I push Rain into the hole. <laughs> Rain, do you let this happen? Or you wanna roll? I'm gonna let it happen for narrative purposes. Okay. <laughs> Rain gets pushed into the hole. <laughs> I'll just I'll just kinda uh have you seen it? Like, I was like getting pushed, I'm like I'm just kinda like my hands by uh my handy half sucker, I'm like, oh shit, fuck, and kind of just fling it off to the side. <laughs> 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 you almost ended the fucking campaign. <laughs> Good news is, if we did end up in the actual sea, I can plane shift us back. We. <laughs> so if we need to get a baddie gone real quick. <laughs> Oh, we have multiple options for that. Yeah. <laughs> Self-destruct real quick, and then I can just bring us back. No big deal. 
Yep. Oh yeah. No. Oh, very good use of battle spell slots and cleric abilities. Okay, everybody's hopped in. Presumably Melanie hops in as well. She's not, you know, online at the Still moment. Still BRBs. So just... mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So you, you so guys, fold them up. Yep. <laughs> Tuck them in a pocket. Yep. <laughs> and I cast fly on Ronnie. And we go. Okay. Most beautiful and elegant thing you've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> a flying turtle. <laughs> it looks like a balloon. <laughs> I am round. Not being here. I'm remarkably round. I don't know. I think it's cozy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so you guys fly like up to the cavern, like in a in a um in a like a comic book that last like um panel of just complete darkness, and then you know the the word bubble. I don't know. I think it's cozy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. I'm <laughs> fully anticipating a dagger in my like thigh at any point. <laughs> All right, so the the journey up to the cavern is uneventful. 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 Great. Very uneventful. You get to the mouth of the cavern, and this is what you see. How long does it take us to fly up there? Uh, it's like sixty on the broom per round, or is it thirty? It's fifty on the broom. Fifty it on the broom. It would be thirty if there was somebody else with me. <laughs> But it's 50 minutes it's by myself. Breath. Okay, it's 18 seconds. Oh, we got... Yeah, I, it, it's we like... Got time. Yeah, you guys... Yeah, you know, it's, whole time. Yeah, it's three... It's It takes you three rounds to get up there. It's it easy. took us longer to convince Rain to get in the fucking hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. As soon as we touch down, I pull the thing out. So you guys um, are... It on on the ground and say, see, darling, it wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah. So you guys are here. Never again. At the, at the <laughs> entrance. <laughs> um, there's some rubble. Um, the first thing you notice is it's surprisingly light in here. Uh, it's, uh, so the reason for this, and you can see this ahead of you, is um, where the opening of where the volcano would erupt, it, it's it's clear it's open and there is light street there's light that comes through um the other thing so you know are we coming in from the north or the south uh the south so right okay. here you guys are like right here ish this is dark because there's no this area beyond here is dark because there's no illumination that reaches the the end yeah um the other thing you notice is there's a pit in the middle of this tunnel Yes, that is the pit. Did I miss anything? Uh, there's a. You are yeah. in a cave. There is uh, sunlight that's streaming, or there's light that's streaming um, down from where the can a volcano would would have erupted. Um, and then in the, towards the back, there's not much light back there, so you can't. Those with those without dark vision can't really see uh, back there. Those with dark vision um, sees um, a large cavern. Wait, so we think the tree is in the cave? It's not like outside of the cave where there's sunlight? Oh yeah, it's a magical tree. Never mind. Okay. Also, we were told it was in the volcano. Oh, I thought it was in the area of the volcano. I didn't realize it was in the volcano. Dragon leaf trees are sentinels for dragons. Does the pit look like a pit to me? I have, uh, I can see through illusions with my robe. Ah, um, it's definitely a long way down. Um, it, it's definitely real. So uh -huh. it's a pit. Um, who's going up to the pit? I will go up to it and look down in. And I'm rain, gonna... and rain, and rain, please rain. <laughs> I'm going yes. to, but I'm flying. Okay. Not touching the ground. Fair. Do you want me to roll an investigation? Perception? Uh, perception, please. However, this is not sight-based. 
Um, how far down is this thing again? Hold on. I do have dark vision, but I I know that, that's why I have to check how far down okay. the pit is. Give me a second. Aww, wives. <laughs> <laughs> And a turtle. And Ronnie. Oh, with a natural one. Wow. Uh, what? No, the other roll was a natural one. Um, yeah. Oh. In order to get my passive perception to register accurately, I have to say I have advantage on perception, but this wasn't side based, so I don't. Gotcha. So it's just a natural one. Okay. Uh, you don't hear anything. <laughs> Um, yeah, this would be beyond your, this would be beyond your dark vision, Melanie. Um, but... Can I light a torch and toss it down in? Sure, but don't you want me to tell you what you hear first? What you hear, oh, maybe? Oh, oh, yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> um, you and Rain hear water. <laughs> you toss a fucking torch down, great. <laughs> yep. Hmm. I would like to I would actually like to toss a torch down in and see how far away the water is. Okay, so you toss a torch down. Um... Also, I feel like too much fire in the volcano, in the you know, it, just in case like there's yeah. gas vents or something. I see. The mountain. I yeah. see Melody lighting the torch, and I say, "Whoa, whoa, hold on! Wait, 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 wait." I, think then I, don't, I don't wait. <laughs> I was trying to stop her from lighting the torch, period. I can cast light on the torch. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah. No shit. <laughs> I cast light on the torch. You cast light on the torch. You've been I traveling with a whole bunch of magic users, darling. And you <sighs> still prefer to just light the torch. Well, you know, it's just It's a lot easier. safer. It's a lot safer. With magic. And it's brighter. This place was made by fire. fire. How badly could it be damaged by fire? We're in a volcano. It's yes. us that can be damaged by fire. Not the place. That's a solid point, actually. I didn't think of it like yes, that. Yes, okay. that's... There's water down in there, which is weird since this was a volcano, and I thought we could see how far away the water is. Go uh, ahead. So, it could are, be you, are, you, are you putting the light, or are you putting the... Lighting the torch? What's happening? Where uh, I'm letting I... somebody cast light on the torch. Okay. I cast light on the torch. Okay, you cast light on the torch. Uh, you toss the torch down. Roll an investigation check to calculate how deep the pit is. <laughs> okay. Ooh, which of us? Uh, anybody rock. who's by the pit that wants to do so. Me. I'm great at math over here. It's not gonna go well, but he's going to try. <laughs> He used to be a navigator, oh. believe it or not. Mm, nope, I'm gonna just not do it. I don't know was a reliable talent, you feel like your passive is a failure. Just... <laughs> Girl, it's a funny one. Um, <laughs> Ronnie, you know it's probably, like, you don't know numbers, but you're probably, you're pretty sure it's more than 60 feet. It's Melanie, like ship's length away. Yeah. Melanie, this thing goes on for fucking forever. <laughs> You're not I sure. I get bored before it hits the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Just clock out mentally. Uh, Rain and Tilda, uh, you think this thing is roughly 120 feet down. And it's looks like it's not... It, it looks like it, it's a large area. It's not just like a tiny pool. Does it sound like rushing water? Like, or... Like, it, um... It, it's lapping. It's lapping. It's not rushing. Are we near a coast? I can cast control of water and bring it up to us, and then we can write it down if we want to go in the hole. No, 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 no. Let's uh, let's try to find this tree. Uh, then you guys should probably get back in the hole. I agree. The smaller hole, not this big one. No, I under I knew what you meant, Ronnie. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. It's good to be clear uh, with your intentions. Yeah, Rain goes invisible. <laughs> okay. Just Why are you fly. being such a baby about this? Ugh. You know I'm What's... good at keeping an eye out for things. 
characters to the voice. Has it changed that you you can't be in the portable hole with your head sticking out while being carried in it? Because when we were infiltrating that fortress, half the time Nedry yeah. was out, ready to stone shape everything. I mean, it's kind of... You can be a living in periscope. I do think we should go over one at a time, though. Via the portable hole. Quickly, obviously. But... Hey. Why well, do we need to go over one of the There's a pit. Is it, does the pit go through the whole room, or is it? The comic no. is just so. So no, there's... now that you now that you uh, now that you have uh, gotten closer to this area, let me just reveal that. Da, 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 da. Oh. For the record, Ronnie's five feet off the ground at all times right now. Mm, okay. <laughs> I can't trigger anything up here. Um, Enjoying life. You do see that it it's opens. Like this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah, you do see that it opens into a larger cavern, uh, but it does look like a dead end. You know, I'm over here already. Do you want me just to look around, or does someone want to come with me? I can give someone a pick. Let me fly back over. <sighs> Somebody can get on my back. Ronnie, you uh, you don't have dark you vision, in right? You feel an what? invisible weight get on your back. <laughs> what was that, Darren? You don't have dark vision, right? I have. I can. I have the robe of eyes. You have the robe of eyes. Oh, right. So. So it's 120 feet. I can see invisible things. I can see through illusion. Okay. I, I need <laughs> to see rain. <laughs> you see rain. see rain. You see rain. You see rain. Um, I, I need. Just, I need you. I um, feel and burn this motherfucker. All right. So let me know when you um, if you go over to the other side. Yeah, I'm gonna take Rain with me. Okay, sounds good. Can can you take two of us? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll. You can either get back in the portable hole, or I can ferry you one at a time across with my broom. So I Rain is running across the hole. Is is faster. Ronnie, if you would wait just a moment, we could all go over at once. That way. If something goes wrong while we're over there, it won't, um, won't be I'm alone. already over here, so... Yeah. Alright. Ronnie, roll a perception check. I'm just gonna uh, hop in the sight. hole. Sight. <laughs> this is sight-based. Excellent. Uh, you see small piles of gold on the floor. Mm, there's money in here. I'm getting in the hole so we can get our asses over there. Same. Okay. Uh, Ronnie, uh, why don't you do a, a pass over everything so we can look for traps or places where we shouldn't be stepping. I presume Vitter Sweet like... also gets in the Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do a lap around this room. Oh, Still okay. five feet up. Investigation for traps? Yes. Alright. Uh, where are you looking for traps? Uh, I'll give you, like, you can look at, like, a 30... like a 25-foot area. Well, I guess I'm going where Ronnie takes me. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> Fair. Well, the first step's gonna be just going in five feet off the ground. So. Alright, so, let's see. Let's see. Well, um, uh, hmm? Can I ask, do these uh, piles of gold remind us at all of the uh, um, the oozes that we met that disguise themselves as rubies and gems and stuff um like that. it looks like purely coinage that's exactly what an ooze would say <laughs> <laughs> um we're looking I'm at a middle to... of the room overview for now I'm going to cast True Seeing on myself. Okay. Uh... Alright. Looks like coinage. And do I see any magical door, you know, secret doors hidden by magic or anything in the ethereal plane? Nope. Cool. Good nice enough. to know I wasted a spell. Bye. You got it for an hour. You can ask Ronnie to check those things because he gets those things innately now as part of the robe. Eh. She, she doesn't, doesn't trust the turtle. 
It's not that I don't trust the turtle, it's just that I like to know these things for myself. Ah, Jesus. Sorry. Um, bless you? No. Oh. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. Ah. Sneezes start and then don't. They disappear. I heard, uh, I heard if yeah. you say elephant a bunch of times, you can stop a sneeze. Yeah, what do you do to make a sneeze come through? Though? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Say elephant backwards. <laughs> this this portion right over here Tenefala? is this. Tenefala? 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 Is this more wall? Oh yeah, it's more wall. It's, it's all wall. Oh shit! I need to move myself over. All the wall. Uh, it's wall. Did the investigation check reveal anything? Um, it revealed that there are no traps in this area. In this, hold on. In this area. Maybe we need to go down with it. Um, I would like water. to, I would like to walk around the walls and just double check that we didn't miss anything. Sure. That nothing looks like a, like maybe a recent cave-in or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I'll say give me like three investigation checks. One for each side of the wall. Ugh. 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 Oh. Oh. Guys. Guys. It's a wall. I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing up here. It's clearly a wall. Um, I'd like to look at the coins. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna, like, pick up a handful of them. Okay. We you know like Raina was gonna go over there and do that, but yeah. I'll, I'll go to another pile. Um, I'll, let, I'll yeah. let her dismount. Sure. Um, you think there are roughly... just flip over and, like, shake a little. Yeah. I just tilt and <laughs> it's a slide. Uh, I, it's just a shell. <laughs> you think there are roughly maybe three, four hundred gold coins in this pile? Um, are they That's enough old for coins? A no co new coins? I mean, they look like they've just... been here for a while. Um, like, there's some, like, of... dirt. Uh, roll an investigation check. Okay. You know, do I just... My aim is just, like, do I notice anything weird about... Or different than well, usual about the coins? They seem lighter. Mm. And which leads you to think these not might, these might not be real coins. Mm -hmm. Um... In fact, when you, like, hold one of them and you, like, it's part of your investigation, you bend it, it bends. I have true seeing. How did I not... <laughs> no, they're... It's, they, it's they, really they, a counterfeit. No, so they're counterfeit really coins. They look uh, okay. like they're gold. There's nothing magical about them. It's just they're fake coins. Got it. Okay. All fake? Um, you check the other piles? Rain is going to certainly. You know, she's looking for something. I will announce, you know, well, these are counterfeit, darlings. Yeah, the rest probably are, too. Probably. I think we need to go into the pits. Most likely, yes. Um, we, have a, we have a weird rope that does stuff, right? Uh, oh, never we have a never-ending rope, yes. Um, I is... think we also have a rope of climbing. Is there somewhere near the pit that is a good place that we could tie on the never-ending rope? Um, yeah, this rope. Been a well, good time for the rope of climbing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did we sell it? Yep, for all my knickknacks. Mm -hmm. Bittersweet. Can you make us breathe underwater? Uh, I can. Yeah, well, hey. Hmm. That's pretty useful. Cannonball. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's a ritual, so I don't even have to have it prepared. Look at so, that. I'm sorry, did you say we did or didn't see a, plop, a place up here that we could tie that in never ending? Uh, roll, you'd have to uh, roll a survival check. <laughs> like, make a roll an investigation check again, just to see what... <laughs> oh, there are a couple... There are, five. Yeah, there are a couple places you see you can probably anchor the rope at. Okay. I... Uh... I would like to work with somebody and kind of anchor the rope before we go any further. Okay. I'll help. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Oh, good. oh, yeah, that's right. You're used, you're good with tying ropes. I'm you a sailor. Probably... Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. So do you want me to uh, control water, or do we just want to breathe underwater and control water on the way out? Um, why don't we go down and look around first? It's possible that the water isn't very deep, or that there's some sort of area where we can just land down there. Uh, that way we're not, you know, wasting any spell slots just to get, or, you know, whatever that might be. It's just words. Um, um, I'm going to remind you that it's not a waste of spell slot to cast water breathing, but I do agree that the water could be not very deep, and thus jump just jumping into it seems like a terrible idea. Well, I'm yeah. playing for a hot minute, so I can mm -hmm. ferry the people who don't want to take the rope. I don't want to take the rope. I My FX is not good. I, I could, again, I could just cast we can all just. I can cast Featherfall too on everyone if y'all just want to jump and. Yeah. There are many ways to get down to the bottom. Of down, this yeah. Why don't, why don't we just jump and call, do uh, Featherfall? Yeah, that's just a first level spell, right? Yep. I'll fly that's down. that's fine then. All we'll right. leave the rope obviously as an emergency. Yeah, yeah, and that's you know. Oh, I do burst. have control water prepared, so if we need to, like, jettison out, I can do that. Alright, so are you... I forgot how the endless so... rope works. Uh, are you having the rope, like, dangle all the way uh, down to the water? Yes. Okay. Or down to the end of the pit, I guess. Depending on where the... If the water, you know, there might be, like, land on either side. <laughs> Just yeah, well, it'll start It'll start at just going all the yeah. way to the water, and then we might drag it further. Sorry, I just saw this picture. <laughs> I need to share it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that this afternoon. Uh, <laughs> that black kitty is like, is a cartoon kitty. He's so cute. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, cool. Um, so how are you guys? Okay, so tell me how each one of you guys is going down there. Ronnie flies. Ronnie flies. It doesn't uh, even on my back. I'll go ahead and jump and be feather falled. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, most Ronnie of everyone, I think pretty much everyone uh, that isn't Ronnie or me or isn't a total chicken shit um, jumps and I feather fall them. Okay. Does rain want on my back? Nah. Oh good. I want to feather fall. It's fun. Okay. So is everybody okay. but Ronnie feather falling? It sounds um, like yeah, I'm, I'm on my broom. Okay. So... Okay. You're on your broom. So broom. Yeah. I've got a hold of the rope just to bring it down with us. Okay. But. I'm still being feather falled. Okay, awesome. Um, so the so you two are flying. Everybody else is feather falling. Yep, right. should take two rounds. So that's well within the minute duration. Because if it's 120 feet down, then we go 60 feet per round. Two rounds. Yep, that's fair. All right. So you guys feather fall down, and we land gracefully. You land. Hold on, I need to reveal It's areas. dark! I, I know, I'm revealing areas. <laughs> I wasn't sure how you guys were coming down. Um, so, this large body of water... There should be a torch with light on it still down here, right? Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless there's it's saying. If it's within a minute. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this is what you see. And... As you guys are falling down, I need everyone to roll perception checks. Vision or oh, Jesus. Is this vision? This is vision. 24. Um, give me a second. One. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's one Mississippi. It's been far longer than that now. Yes. Well, you yes. okay? Will you stop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Triple disadvantage. <laughs> I know, right? All of the disadvantage. 
<laughs> Fuck all of you! <laughs> That's it. I quit. Put four years of life of my life into this game. No. Um, <laughs> almost actually. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, that and that. All right. There is a large body of water. Uh, there is large ripples in the water. Hmm. And as you guys, there are large shadows in the water. Oh, fuck. Uh, I need all of you to roll. Uh, I need all of you to roll um, initiative because you see a bunch of trolls pop out of the water. Trolls? Oh, fuck! Waiting for you what guys. The fuck? Covered in seaweed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. It's what? their spa. One could even say these might be lake trolls. Is the initiative count up? Uh, let me get that up, sorry. <laughs> They're just bigger versions of those fish that eat the dead skin off your feet. I need to move my toes. Ew. Tongue, so. They're, so just, they're just here ew. to slurp. Slurps up. <laughs> Slurps up, dude. <laughs> Alright. And I will roll the initiative. Of oh, five. yeah, good. Mm, give me that high initiative. Alright. Um, okay. 11's about as high as I can. Is guess. the water deep, shallow? Can we stand in it? You cannot stand in it. Back. Um, Ronnie, oh, what's your, uh, water walking, do they? what's your dexterity? I do not uh, have water walking, um, no. Uh, negative one. Okay, so the trolls will go before you. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything goes before me. The dead go before me. I'll I'm say it's a 11, 0. 0.1. There Very we go. Clumsy. There we go. Uh, luckily, they don't get the surprise round, because you did see them in the water. But yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, unluckily, uh, two of, uh, four of you are surrounded by trolls. Sweet. Uh, Zaitari, it is your turn. And you're swimming, so half speed. Yeah, uh, should question. I question for yes. you before we get into combat. Yes. At what point, like, how quickly does this pit drop into deep water? If we're at the edge of the water, can we stand for the first, like, ten feet out from the bank? First, You're unsure. Inch? We can't see from the the light from the torch and whatnot. So, um, it seems like everywhere is deeper except for these areas that come out of the water. Areas that come out of the water. What yeah, you so you see these trees over here? Oh, the banks. Yes, okay. the banks. I was looking for the words like beach, no, slope, bank. Yes, banks. Alright, I know what I'm doing. Um, as I land in the water and I see these four trolls pop their heads out, I'm like, shit, bittersweet, fuck them up. And I'm going to give bittersweet a point of bardic inspiration. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast greater invisibility on myself. Okay. Cool. Um, I am on the wrong layer, so you are a ninja. Okay, great. Uh, are you moving? Sure. Was that sure S U R E? Oh or my gosh! Sure -E? Har har. Uh, wait. Well, you're the one who said it. Fifteen. Okay, I'm done moving. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. I need to check something. Um. I'm trying to check. You probably went into this troll's out of this troll's reach. Okay. Yeah. I'm invisible. invisible. I know you're invisible, so it's going to be disadvantage because you're swimming away. Though, if you're invisible and swimming, do we all just see the the giant displacement of water where you are? It's, like, it's, just, it's still disadvantage. It's still hard to hit. I could easily duck my ass underwater. Uh, does a 18 hit you? Shield? It just hits, so okay. I will shield. Okay, you shield. Great. All right. Um. All right. That is your turn. Bittersweet. Uh. Bittersweet feels inspired. <laughs> you do. Um, 
and uh, as so I'm going to sink down beneath the water mm -hmm. and uh, giant shark going to spend um, two uses of wild shape okay oh ooh, I see ooh, where this is going ooh. and uh, rising up from behind this troll okay uh, is just a column of humanoid water all right uh Oh, uh, I you could do I'm, that now. It's exciting. A uh, water elemental. I like to and, uh, imagine that it's in the <clears throat> shape of um, bittersweet, but just like bigger. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna punch it twice. It's our, a leap pace elemental. It, are water elementals <laughs> medium or large? Water elementals are large. Large. Yeah. Large. Oh, large. nice. Uh, so, hold on. I'm gonna give you control of this. Uh, better shoot. Save. Get out of here. This should be under your control now. Cool. All right. So uh, I'm gonna just use bittersweet as, because uh, ironically, uh, water elementals have the same hit points as I do. Oh, okay, great. Um, so I'm gonna uh, punch it twice. Okay. What kind of is is, is it? Water damage, I assume. It's, it's bludgeoning. 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 It's, okay. Yeah. Magical bludgeoning. Magical bludgeoning. Got it. That's a nine. Does not hit. Nope. That's a ten. Does not hit. You nope. have a D ten of inspiration. That's true. I'll use the D ten on the ten. Thank you. Thirteen. Uh these guys are a lot swifter than you think they are. Yeah. They they they, so... are, they have their their webbed. Uh, hands and feet. That's what I can do. Alright. Dildo. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. Three 11s in a row. <sighs> Alright. Um, it's not dark down here, right? No. The, you are where the opening of the volcano would erupt, so it's light. Um. Jesus, what was that? If I'm recalling correctly, I believe they're called magma vents. When they're on the sides of the volcano. Ah. I don't know what the big crater is called. I'm not sure. The, what's a Hold Hornado? Up. There's a Hornado, and I don't know what a Hornado is. I think, I think it might be a caldera, like uh, I, yeah, design. caldera. Caldera, that's but I think that also the word changes depending on if the volcano is dead or not. Yeah, and yeah, I, I think the corona time, or whatever you said. Uh, is, I think it's like a lava tunnel above ground or something. Well, I, like, I walked was... through them a few times. I thought that was when there was an explosion. Okay. No. Oh well. Okay. Anyway, yes. Um, told up. I am going to cast Wall of Force in this exact pattern that I have laid out here. <laughs> if somebody could please trace it. Oh, it's gone away. for me. Oh, I did. I wasn't. I was looking away for. Sorry. Uh... Here I got you. One second. Let me. Yep. Bring up my. Got it. No. Um, <laughs> it went. <laughs> oh Alright. Yeah, it went from. Sorry, hang on. Let me change my color for a second. Yeah. yeah I, thought I, I thought I saw it like like you had it, but your color was blending in with the. Yeah, uh, it was. Water. And that's why I was like, eh. Um. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I was pretty close. Let me. I can trace it real fast. Oh, you got it? Yep, oh. I got it. Going back to knitting. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I'm assuming that um, I'm entirely on the one side, though. Yeah, yes. well, my lines be... are not perfect. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, you would be pushed to the side of the um, thing anyway, uh, because I get to choose when that Where happens. people appear. Yeah. How tall is the wall? It is 
not that tall. Um, hang on. Why we ten build feet? the wall? We built the wall to keep us free. Ten by ten foot panels. So. Yeah, ten foot by ten foot panels. That's. I was just I have... listening to that this morning. It's still stuck in my head. <laughs> um, are you? Were you listening to the um, original Broadway cast or the? Um, the original uh, Broadway live. The live the version. Live. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. off Broadway. Yeah. Um, so, they've also released um, or an original Broadway cast recording, like of the current, the current, uh, the current show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So since um, this is floating in the water, how deep are you putting it, and then how high above? Um, ideally, I would like it to be between um, the trolls and you guys. I was gonna have it between the trolls and all of you, but then bittersweet. <laughs> Ran over there, so I'm like, shit. Okay, well, um, yeah. So it, it's kind of like half. I think half and half between um, five up, five down from the yeah, surface. more or less. Um, probably like however tall the trolls are, and then whatever's uh, left is beneath the surface. Right okay. Now. I'll be right back. One second. Um, so maybe like eight feet up to two okay. feet down. Okay. And the the wall is transparent, right? It's not opaque. Yep. Okay. Good. Um. Well, I was just checking for my spell. <laughs> an invisible wall of force. So yeah. Cool. 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 I cool, like cool. to imagine it being kind of like shimmery and blue, but it is technically an invisible wall of force. Um. Maybe when you look at it in certain light, you could see it being shimmery and blue. Mm. Okay. Awesome. Uh, would you like to move or do a bonus action? Um, I would not like to move. Mm -hmm. Um, because I want to keep. Well, how far above also, the are water these... are you? I. Because these imagine... things could potentially yeah. jump out and grab you. Yeah. Well. They'd have to go around the wall first, which is going to be difficult for some of them. True. Um, so here's, I was kind of imagining, like, I cast Featherfall on the rest of you, and then I kind of looped around behind you, you know, like, so I was, I imagined myself being, like, a, a couple, a couple dozen feet above you um when they attacked so I, I i don't imagine myself anything closer than like 10 feet above the water um maybe around 15 feet is that okay yeah i was just wondering Since we, we have to think 3D when people are flying. Yeah. Why is there a red line between... That was not me. Hmm. Uh, did I accidentally... I was measuring to you? Maybe I had the wrong thing on. Um, anyway. So, yeah. So, um... Nothing can physically pass through the wall. It is immune to wall damage and can't be dispelled by dispel magic. Um, so it is, 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 it's two feet underneath the wall, the surface of the water. Five feet. Yes. Five feet. No, I, no, I said eight. Oh, it was probably okay. about eight feet tall, two feet under. Okay. Um, sure. Maybe seven feet tall, three feet under. Okay. I'm, I'm basically trying to get like a, a, a gauge between, you know, it, it doesn't matter. They're just going to swim under it. I wasted a spell. I'm sorry, guys. But Tilda casts the Wall of Force and then says to the rest of y'all, Swim! <laughs> swim for the shore! Okay, Rain. If that... Uh, uh, and remember that... that they need fire damage. <laughs> that they are damaged by fire. And only by fire. Not only by fire. But... Dash here? Uh, stand uh, with the water lapping at my feet, and uh, hold an action to fire if and when a troll 
pops up on the other side of the swallow force. Okay. Or it goes down or something, you know. Sounds good. All right. By the way, are these trees or bushes? Those are or trees. Or are they just... Well, okay. Those they're are not just like spindly no, holes. And no, the... they're they're trees. They're dead right. trees. Um, okay, cool. So uh, the trolls. Uh, this guy is going to swim underneath the wall. Yep. It's going to gr- try to dr- grab Melanie and try to drag her down. And if I remember, well, you have the mithril armor, so you wouldn't get disadvantage. So that's good. Yes. That um. Works. So it's literally beneath you. It's going to... So I guess it's a posing grapple, Melanie. You and this uh, this troll right above you. Well, he's now beneath you. Ah. That's not good. <laughs> Lynn? 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 I think she might have... Gone away. She said she was going to be knitting. Hey, Lynn. Knitting me a little slip and stabbed her in the neck, and now she's just bleeding out. No, don't don't put that out into the world. <laughs> okay, you have a knitting needle that wants to murder somebody. Uh, while that's mm-hmm. happening, um, this one will also go underneath Yewa. And try to do the same thing. No, wait, you're invisible. Uh, I'd attack it anyways. If it, oh, it's not coming through. It's n- what, no, hold on. Are you going to take a shot of it while it's underwater? Well, when it comes out of it. Does, okay. You know. And Tilda, how far up were you? Uh, I was at least 10 feet, if not 15 feet. All right, so he'll come out of the shore. You can take a, you can take a shot at him as his body is coming up. Okay. Um, man, I really wish I had Warcasters. No, no, uh, that, that's rain. Rain, you have, that's your trigger. Okay. Get no more damage. I understand. Okay. Um, so, oh my god. Okay, so... That... And now he can see me, and now he can get me. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, he can see you. So he started over there. So that was swimming speed. So that was... I hate doing this. Uh, just five more feet. Yeah, he will have enough to get to you. Let me just do the damage. Uh, so 15... Plus 19 plus 26. 26. There's just some automatic damage check? Fuck. Um, no, no, I- I'm doing the damage you did to oh. him. Because. Uh, okay, I was say, what the fuck? No, no, it doesn't do. It doesn't do. Alright, so it will try. It will attempt to. Um, do a couple bite, a cu- bites and two claws. So first bite, that's it. I it's at everything. <laughs> that's a natural one, so that doesn't. And you have to displace your cloak, so claws. Um, does an eighteen hit your armor class? Roll one more. Okay. Uh, twenty one. Yeah, it hits eighteen hits. Okay, eighteen hits. And both the weapons you are wielding are magical, correct? Um, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Do-do-do. Some really good sneak attack damage. Uh, Did you manage to get it, or am I too far away? I should have got it because I was still invisible and had advantage. Alright, so uh, please take... For for the first one, please take uh, fifteen points of piercing damage. Um, now you're no longer displaced, so the last claw that is going to be another twenty three to hit. Yep. Uh, take an additional twelve points of da- damage. I got a good bite in there, claw. <laughs> um, 
Okay, your weapon's fine. Uh, Melanie, I need you to roll a athle athletics. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. It, 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 cool. it attempted it attempted to drag you under, um, but you're you're not going anywhere. <laughs> but it's still beneath you. Okay. Um, Actually, okay. So it tried to drag me under. So it tried to like get a hold. Yes, it tried to grab your uh, your ankles and drag you down. Oh, okay. I couldn't try to get a hold of it then, since it was my ankles. All right. Yeah. I kick it in the face. Okay. You you attempt to kick it in the face. Uh, yes. this one, mm, yeah, there's more people over here. Um, this one will also dive under, swim its appropriate swimmage, now that, well, it happens simultaneously, so, um, I'm gonna try to get you, but it's not going to, so, but those I tried, here. you guys, I'm sorry. No, that's all right. That's the trouble with wall of force and or any of the wall spells and depth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's not gonna tries to grab you. You're a little too high. Um, this one is going to engage with bittersweet. Is going to attempt to do things. Um, first, the bite uh, does a twenty three hit your armor class. Bittersweet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, the bite will do 12 points of slashing. Uh, the claw, which I hit for 26, will do 9, uh, 14 points of piercing. Mm -hmm. And does a 18 hit your armor class? Yep. Okay. Um, that will be 15 points of piercing, and your wire elemental, so your equipment's not there, so that this just doesn't apply. Uh, that is their turn. Ronnie, it is your turn. Uh, <clears throat> slots. So I am going to yeah, summon what? a spiritual weapon. Okay. Oh. Uh, I will get that. What's your, your spiritual weapons are what again? I don't remember. Let's go with just a sword. Okay, sword. Ronnie's He's not a, a very creative man. Uh, where do you turtle shell? Uh, where do you want it? Uh, it's gonna be. You can see it. It's gonna be on this troll. All right, this troll. Uh, and then uh, I'm gonna hit uh, it. All right. Or try to. I gave you control of it, so you should be able to move it around. Awesome. And then I'm also going to follow it up with a sacred flame. Okay. Um, so to hit for my spiritual weapon, 23. That will connect. You hit it in the face. Oh, six points of force damage. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Um, and then uh, for my action, I will sacred flame it. Okay. So dexterity saving throw? Yep. Doesn't make it. Alright. Watch out, guys. 13 points of radiant damage. Perfect. Alright. Sounds great. And I'm floating like 20 feet up, hugging okay. the wall. Okay. Hey, what happened to the initiative tracker? Sorry. Wait a minute, are you? You're not flying anymore, are you? <laughs> I am. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh. Hey! I am in the water. Ouch! What just Who happened? Got bit? Not good, Bean Bean. Well, I'm, I'm swimming, Tried but both. I'm very good at swimming. Okay. Stick her on me and pinched me really hard between myself and the chair. That hurt. Herself in the chair. Yeah. You don't need pets that bad. But I do. <laughs> she was jealous because we were when I was gone. We were checking it out, Luke, because he's got a little bald spot that we just we just noticed, and she was like super jealous that we were looking at the cat's head. Yeah, you're a jealous girl. Okay. Uh, Melanie, what up? All right, so um, I am going... I've got a troll here right underneath me, right? Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's... He made... Yeah. What? Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna ask 
to do something. And if you're like, you can't fucking do that, then just tell me. Okay. What would I need to do to dive down and just grab it and then take it with me? Uh, well, you would, would have to grapple. You would attempt have to attempt a grapple first. All right. Uh, so that's just an athletics versus his, his athletics his, or acrobatics. Yes. So he's going to choose athletics, actually. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, okay. You have successfully grappled him. All right. The dark spots over here, is that shrubs or those are up trees. trees? Those are dead trees. Dead trees. Okay. I am going to <laughs> use my jump. I'm okay. taking his ass with me. <laughs> um, How? I'm just... <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, this is... So, I mean, you're not like a... I'm not a what? You're not like a like a, like a a orca who can just, like... I mean, you... Breach the water. Breach the water. Oh, no. I'm using... I'm using the uh, Thunderbird Dive. Oh! Yeah, you can, what? Yeah, you can do that. What the fuck is that? So, I reach down, I grab this fucker, and then I'm just like... Let's go, buddy. And I just thunderbird dive like to right beside Rain. Okay, that that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Also, I would like to try to drop him at least five feet or more. To try to get him to land prone. Okay. Um, since this is like your second time or third time using these, it's you know you're still you know I'm gonna say yeah. you still need to gauge like at what height because it happens really fast. Okay. Um, make. A, because it's 120 feet, but I'm jumping up pretty. I have room to jump up fairly you do, high. You do. So, um, I want. I say make a dex check, and let's see. The higher the result, the better that you know where to drop him. Let's say. Okay, right, that's pretty good. Um, so let's see. Uh, that's really good. Um, so Thunderbird. So you're going. Hold on, math. I am mathing. All right, so wait. Um, thirty-five. Ronnie, why aren't you still flying? Wall force. force. I'm dual focused. Oh right, you're dual oh. focused. Oh, right. then I'm twenty feet in the air. Fair mark. Oh, all right. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, at the end of each turn, where you have two spells, you must make a Constitution saving throw. So that's my bad that I forgot that. Um You know, this is like this is the most algebra I've had to do. Like this isn't the only thing I'd had to algebra. Um today. I mean, if, even if I just drop like I said, I don't need to do any damage to him. I just want him to land prone. Yeah, but like, you reeled really high, so you probably like got him <laughs> near the peak. Yeah. Can you slam dunk him onto a tree and skewer that bit? Yeesh. You just fucking yeet him onto the ground. You know what? Like, I'm gonna what's, use. What's the type of bird that hunts by skewering things on thorns and then eating them alive? Butcher I birds. don't know, but that's super metal. Yeah, bush. It is. Nature yeah. is lit. Okay. <laughs> ju ju I rolled a d10. Um, I'm just still on the higher end. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna take so, a yeah. certain amount of damage. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna roll an acrobatics to see how much he reduces that damage. Yeah. yeah. Not so much. Ronnie's should still be flying unless mm -hmm. he chooses to be in the water. Uh, oh, he no. takes he takes ten points of bludgeoning damage as he crashes to the ground. Awesome. Is he prone or is he standing? Uh, let's see. No, he is definitely prone. His acrobatics check was a two. Is right. Ronnie smiling like just a really happy retriever? Like, hey, look what I brought. I, I am. I'm just like, look! <laughs> uh, like a bird dog that just, like, brought you a duck. I'm gonna then, uh, I'm gonna then action surge. Okay. I, I haven't long enough, so that's why this is at a zero. Um, and I'm then gonna hit him just, uh, let's see. I'm gonna, do I still have movement? That Actually, was your movement. Matter. He's prone. That he's, was, he's prone. So. That, that was your movement. Okay. Um, um yeah. Oh, these are at advantage. So that's actually a twenty to hit. Okay. Um are we gonna i I'll take the first damage, so it's twelve. That's fine. 
And then a 30 to hit? God, yep, low damage, that's, though. Yep, that's 10. And a 27 to hit. Uh, that is 15. Um... And I'm just pummeling him while yelling, Bad troll! Bad <laughs> troll! Like... <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Uh, Zaitari. Okay. Friendly reminder, I do need to go to bed at 12. Yes, so I know. Power. Okay, just... I'm, I'm looking really at the clock. Track. I know, I know. Um, and I can see every single one of these troll fucks. Yes. All right, great. Then I'm going to uh, make sure of my distance. So if I yeah. am not within range of everybody. I mean, everybody missed the giant megalodon underneath the lake, but that's fine. Yeah, can All right, we're you good. Um, get, through, get over the my? Yeah, it's fine. Oh. I magically teleport, basically. Okay. Ah. I see. Uh, so these are all at advantage because I am invisible. Five, oh, six attacks in a row. You. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Um, which one are you hitting first? Um. Here, I'll tell you the order. I'm gonna go. Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, got it. So that will hit. So that Yeah, is... so the one that the one that's on Here we go. there. Yep. Then there. you got there. Okay, hold on. And I got one more. There. One second. Okay. Thirty two. Let's do that first. And then the thirty seven. So that's plus thirty seven. And, and then... then I'm gonna appear right here. <laughs> okay. And then that's plus twenty seven. And then that's bus. That's thirty-three because that one has been thirty. Okay, perfect. So you guys go see Zartari. Boom slash boom slash boom. Slash. The, what oh you, no, you, they don't see anything. Okay, they just see all of these lacerations yeah. suddenly appear. Yeah, because she's <laughs> invisible. Yeah. Uh, uh, any bonus actions? Yeah. Um, I'll just shout out to the world. Please, please, somebody, God, please hit these things with fire. Please, God. Also, Ronnie, you killed it. And I'll give Ronnie a <laughs> of consideration. Okay. Ronnie gives you a thumbs up because he can see you. That's very true. Okay. Uh, bittersweet. Uh, I will um, rage. Okay. Bonus action. All right. Uh, and uh, where's my angry face? Yes. Okay. Um, and I will attempt to pummel this troll somewhere. Okay. That's all I can do. The water elm in the tail starts foaming. Mm-hmm. I'm just imagining it, like, boiling. What now? Can you imagine the attack as an elemental? You can reckless anytime you want to. That's true. I'll reckless attack. Fifteen? Fifteen does just connect. Okay, uh, so that's going to be. Hang on, I have to look at what my rage, my bonus rage damage is at this point. I think it's plus I think two. It's a two. Yeah. Um. So that's going to be uh sixteen <laughs> points of damage. Yep. All right, and then for my second attack, uh, Reckless. You have the, all the damage ooh. that you took last time, right? The... I wasn't raging yet. No, but your water elemental necrotic... is resistant to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage from all magical attacks. Um, look. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you would have taken half. Um. Hang on. Uh. Mm-hmm. Let me, um, so I took 41 points of damage. So half that, so it's 20. So, 20. so, tw- so 21. So. Cool. Alright. Uh, so I, I crit. Yes, you did. Um, <clears throat> so that's gonna be uh, 48 plus 6. No, for it's forty-eight foot. Hang on, 
48 plus 10. It's 23 points of damage. Okay. Um, and uh, that's what I do. Okay. I punch um, it real good. All right. Um, Tilda. <clears throat> Uh, so I immediately um, drop Wall of Force, so I'm no longer concentrating on that. Okay. Um, I will... Um, shit, 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 shit. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to, um... Fly... I'm gonna f fly, um... Hang on. Me. I was here. Um... out there <clears throat> actually can I get no damn it I hate my life hate my spells Aww. everything is terrible <clears throat> um, I'm gonna fly over here and yell Melanie, Rain, and Ronnie, get out of the way! <laughs> and I will prepare a lightning bolt spell. Okay. Remember, uh, I'm 30 feet for... up, so I'm safe. Okay. Right. I'm vertical. Um, because it's about the closest thing I have to fire, because it does set things on fire. Yeah, I'll I'll go there. Um That that gets all three of them, right? Technically? Um yeah, technically. They they are large. <laughs> technically. <laughs> technically. This one probably gets advantage on a dex check just because it's just out of reach, but doesn't Melanie have something that so she can like dodge magic real good or something? She has mage slayer, uh, but um, she wouldn't be. Well, I would not want to use my reaction to give myself that bonus, so she would just have to hit me. Anyway, I have yelled at them to all move. If they don't listen, that's their own damn fault. Um, and I will Ronnie cast gives another thumbs up. <laughs> Um, I will use the Wand of Healing Word. Uh, who looks... Who's been hurt? Who's been hit? Probably Rain. I'm so uh, hurting. Um, yeah. I'll give Rain, uh, some healing. Okay. From the Wand of Healing Word. Just level, though. Sorry. Uh, Tilda is still up off the ground, right? Yes. I have... Um, this guy's on a tree, right? He's been impaled on a tree. Well, he, he, he's not... He, he crushed a tree. He right? crushed a tree. <laughs> okay, he crushed a tree. Yeah, he's prone. And, um, yeah, he is very prone. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, they go before you do. I mean, they will go after you. Yeah... You can just um, hit him. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll stay. I, I will, will hover say, about five feet above in the air, which I is still within uh, the. To give, you, give you a heads up that my plan might disrupt your lightning bolt. So well, it's too late. Out. I've already said that I'm going <laughs> to do it. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm. 
waiting for these two in particular to get out of my way. Um, so I either do it or I lose the spell. Either way, that's what I said I'm going to do. Bonus action. I moved. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, Rain. Procedure question. DM, uh, Hellfire, the bonus action to do fire damage. Yep. Uh, does that require attunement? You would have to reattune, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will disengage. Mm -hmm. I will go here. I will stab um, with my fate weapon, because that's what I got. Um, yeah, I don't know if any of us can do... I would imagine hundreds of points worth of damage to outright kill I'm, these things. I'm gonna try and give us an opportunity to. You upset. have, you have hellish rebuke. That's good against one. Right. I got it once per day. Yeah. Well, if we get them down, we could, in theory, just torch them. Also, mm -hmm. if they're water trolls, it's possible that it's not fire damage that we need to do to them. This is true. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. which, which one are you hitting, Drain? Uh, uh, the one that's prone. Uh, okay. Yes. I disengaged um, and yeah. I kept the one that's prone and kept walking. Okay. Um, if, they're, so, uh, 39. if they're anything like water elementals, take extra damage from cold. Mm. All right. Um. Oh, he. Okay. So he is still up, um, but he is barely standing or barely Given that we have... moving. <laughs> yeah. Given that we have fought, or some of us have fought. Tr and we needed fire to like outright kill them and we'd know this i think it's you know uh, until i think until we can prove that fire doesn't do jack shit against them or anything like that oh no i, I think mean, it's a safe bet that we need to fire yeah i'm just saying like it might not be fire because they are could be lake weird trolls, trolls. Yeah. And some of the different types of trolls have different... I mean, I think that it would not be metagaming because we have fought trolls to know that there are certain damage types that cause them to not regenerate, but it we might be able to safely guess that it might not actually be fire. I mean, if it is cold, great, but because I got plenty of cold spells. Well, I can check because I, I did radiant damage to one of them and it's their turn next and we can see if it regenerates. The one that took radiant damage. That's not fire. Because I've got some nukes in case radiant does yeah, work. Yeah, but so that's why we're trying to figure out. Anyway. Yeah. We'll see my vote, it's my vote's either cold or acid. I have radiant and force. Nah. I, I still, I'm still leaning towards fire. Uh, Rain, are you attacking again? No, I use my uh, bonus action to disengage. Oh, okay. All right. So the trolls. All right. So this guy stands up. I am still invisible. Yes, you are. Does Ronnie see them regenerate? Yeah. All of them? Yes. Every single one? Okay. Yes. Well, fuck every single one of them. <laughs> Alright, mm. this one will stand up from the branches. Um, uh, it's gonna try to go to the one that kind of pretty much hurt it um it's not moving for me unless it uh unless i don't hit it 14 hit you do not hit damn you should have asked for uh one of my divination rules um also i was right next to it i was five feet in front of like off the ground you can try to take a swipe at it been. um I think with... Uh... Uh, you need your reaction. You're right. Would I... I do. Would mind. I have needed... Fl would I have gotten flanking with Tilda? Yeah, you would have. Okay, that does hit. He's Better. not going anywhere. <laughs> Lock him down! <laughs> um, Alright, so that is 13. I breathe the sigh of relief is... Melanie kneecaps him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he falls to the ground. Um, this one is gonna try. This one doesn't like being near to the uh, 
the spiritual weapon, so he will... Hmm, it's not really anywhere he can go. Well, five feet. Um, and try to take a couple, like that. Of, couple of swipes at Melanie. Oh, no. never mind. It hasn't been my turn yet. I was like, oh, I forgot to move. No, I just go way late. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only one that'll probably hit is possibly hit is the twenty-five. Is he talking me? Yes. Yes. Was it a disadvantage? No. He doesn't hit you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> um, the other one, um, Ronnie, you're in the water now because no, no you, flying you're still. flying still because. You know, but twenty how, feet up. Ten feet up. Okay, you're twenty. Tw twenty feet up. Okay, you're not. Um, how far are you? So from from here to you now. Just I'm like comically reach. safe right now. Yeah, you're pretty <laughs> safe right now. Um. And I still imagine you, like, tucked into your shell, so... <laughs> hey, Melanie! Um, yeah, what's up? This is, uh, all of these are... Christ. All of these are at disadvantage? Mm-hmm. Okay. Until one hits me, and then it's not. Okay. No, that, that won't... Ow, 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 ow. Nope. Nope, it, nothing's happening. Alright, and then the last one... Uh, it's going to turn and face you, bittersweet. Uh-huh. Uh, 14, 24, uh, and critical. Uh, 14 does not hit, the other two do. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to, um, right now, use my lightning bolt, because technically, it is not in the way of, uh, like, it, it won't hit Melanie, because it, the line is not technically through the square. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, why are you going? I held a lightning bolt action. Okay. All right, you I can do that. She couldn't hit Melanie with it. Okay. So. Yeah. Fair. Uh, so hold on. Uh, so 15, 15, and then that's double the dice, so 20. Um, that's five. So be fine. That's 15. So 40. So normally you have taken 40, you take 20. Bittersweet. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now the lightning bolt goes off. Yep. Okay. Cow. It's a cow. All right. Uh, the one. Like lightning McQueen. This one yep. gracefully dodges out of the way. Oh fuck. Uh, this one doesn't. So. Uh, 26. So he takes 13 lightning damage. Uh, or they take 13 lightning damage. Right. They take the full 26. Alright, he goes down. And... The lightning oh. ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Does it hit, maybe hit, um... Since it's a hundred foot does it hit this tree and like or even does it hit the uh the branches in front of me and I mean them? I mean if you want the tree to be on fire that's perfectly yes. fine oh, fine the tree's on fire great okay, you just put the fire in front I knew of me too uh, only I knew control flames <laughs> Look, it's a desperate situation without Bryn, okay? Fire. I know. There, it's on fire. <laughs> um, just Who knew that I should have taken flame strength. <laughs> uh, Ronnie. Um, we have fire on the field now. Yes. So yep. I'm just gonna like float around. I'm gonna say, hey, do you guys, you guys want a chance to run? Yay or nay? Yes. Yay. Yes, please. Yay. Yay. All righty. Well, the ones that are, the are unconscious ones, I can't do too much about them. But, you know, I'm going to do my best. Yes. Trust. Well, don't trust me. Trust. Trust in God. <laughs> trust in tear. I trust in order's demand. Okay. Um, wisdom saving throw from the conscious trolls, please. Okay. Nope. DC nope. Nope. Neither of them make it. Uh, I'm going, they're charmed by me. 
until the end of my next round or until they take damage. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say, hey, just leave those two alone. And uh, with, kind sirs, will you please give us some breathing room? Can you go for a swim like way over there? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> point away from <laughs> Sure. Um, Melanie. I can, I can end one of their careers with my bonus action if I want to use a seventh level spell. I don't think I want to do right. that. All right. Um, I'm going to... As a bonus action, real quick, can I smack the one that's unconscious with my sword? Sure. Just because. You do have an advantage. Know. It is prone. I do, and it's an auto crit, so... Bully I don't have a flaming sword. I know. I would like to go ahead and take out a torch. And... There's still... T- okay, alright, sure. Uh, are you gonna light the torch? Ooh. Yes. Okay. Are you gonna light the torch in the fire of the branches in front of you? Yeah. And then Cause, I'm just cause that gonna. That seems a lot easier than pulling out. Yeah. Steel. And then I'm just gonna start like if I'm able to just kind of like poke him with the flames. Okay. Great. If I could actually hit him with the flames, that'd be even better. But... Um. All right. I would say this, this is this is an un this is you're you're not proficient with torch. <laughs> That's so fair. You can hit him with the torch if you want to. You have the angry village background to get proficiency with torches. <laughs> you need a pitchfork. Pitchfork uh, and torch. But do I use my strength mod though? Oh, it's a ten to hit, but he's unconscious. You still have advantage because it's prone, and it's unconscious. You you, you hit it. <laughs> you 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 you. It's it's on fire. The the bits that aren't wet are on fire. I'm just gonna make sure it stays on fire. Okay. Maybe kick him a little bit. Okay. But like, not like damaging. Just you know, for lever kicking. Fire. <laughs> okay. We... Um, w- would you like to attack again? You have multiple attacks. Um, so there's there's just the two unconscious ones around me, right? Yeah. Just... Everyone else got commanded. Yeah. But they're yeah. they're they're yeah. Um. So this one right here, that's right beside me. Mm-hmm. Did I? Could I tell if it was affected by the command spell or not? Um, I did call D-man. out and say, "Just leave those two alone." Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna keep pummeling this one with my fire stick. Okay. This one. Yeah. The oh, there's another. There's another downed one. I'm gonna poke both of them with my fire stick. Okay. Roll. Yeah, uh, you, you poke you, you poke it with your fire stick. It catches on fire. Fire stick. Um, would you like to do anything else? No. Okay. Oh, are we running? I mean, I'll let us go peacefully if we if we hustle. Yeah, I think we really need to piece I'll the fuck out. And that's ten, fifteen, twenty. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, goes that way. For some reason, the ground ends. I don't know why that happened. Um. Okay. Um. Because the map isn't big enough. That's why the ground ends. Is Itari? <sighs> yep. Um. Since this thing is dead, and we seem to have a handle on things. I, too, am going to piece the fuck out. Okay. Um, I am still invisible mm-hmm. for the next, uh, I don't know, 40-some-odd seconds. Um, I don't know. I can't remember how many rounds we've been doing this. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think three. So, 60 minus 16 is how much I have left. Um, I have 80 feet of movement. Okay. Uh, basically... Well, I have 40 feet of movement, so I'm going to move 40 feet down this cave. All right. Um, um, you see, well, and you have dark vision. Uh, you see I a do. very well furnished room. Okay. No trees. No trees. Is there an end? Yes. Okay. It's a dead end. 
It's a dead end. Well, it, it, there's the furnished room, but it just looks like it's a room. You don't see, like, a door or anything. Well, not in line of sight, anyways. Okay, I'm going to make... Can I... Can I make a perception check to see if I notice anything valuable in this room? You don't even have to roll a perception check. <laughs> okay. I'll show you the room after. Uh, um, okay. Um. All right. Uh, I'm speak. just gonna. Sh I'm just gonna shout back and say we need to go the other way. All right. Better sweet. Um. All right. Uh, this troll is now just sort of vacantly staring off into the middle distance, I guess. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm. All right. I'm going to start heading this way. Uh, basically, just get this way um, and climb back up onto shore mm -hmm. uh which is at uh, that point um hmm, the end of i'll i'll dash so i can get a little bit further. all right okay uh, there you go um you <clears throat> see um you see a uh, open cavern. Uh, the first mm -hmm. thing you do notice is the closer the the further you get down this tunnel, the warmer mm -hmm. it's starting to get. Steam starts rising from my shoulders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tilda. Um. All right. Uh, I'm going to. You, you know, pick up, uh, just kind of like grab a stick, um, in a torch like fashion, mm -hmm. um, and kick up on my broom and fly over this way. All right. Uh, with, um, I'd like to use an action actually you know what i would like to use an action to examine these trees <laughs> they are very they were once very large and majestic hmm they look like they might be dragon leaf trees that were uh uh that died that's a great possibility hmm Figured it out, guys. Okay. Um, Amazing. Hmm. Also, I, I can dimension door one of us. Like, well, myself and one of you guys across the way, so. Um. Okay. Uh, Rain. Uh, can this edge be walked here? Um, yeah, you uh, think you can walk that edge. I'll dash uh, my 60 feet. Okay. Here. And, um. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold an action to, to fire if anything pops back or starts heading back this way. Alright. Uh, the trolls are gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Um. Ronnie. And those other two trolls are dead dead? Uh they uh they're not moving. Okay. <laughs> uh alright, Ronnie's doing a police uh Kate's yeah. having a police report. Uh Melanie. Well, we'll Presumably pretend Ronnie um goes over here. Right, comes with 10, us, yeah. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And I'm just ready for anything to pop up. Okay. Um, and Zaitari. Um, I'm going to loot this room. Because I can dimension door myself to the other side. Okay. All right. Um, 
How long does this charm last for? Let me see. Um, it's the end of Ronnie's turn. End which... of Ronnie's turn. Um, I'm gonna see if they have any common sense. Yeah. To run? Yeah, they're just like, okay, fuck this shit, two of our guys are dead. Um, they're not that stupid. So, <laughs> I'm gonna say we are currently out of combat, just for, like, time's sake. Um, I'm gonna okay. give you a brief glimpse of the room, Zaitari. Um, so okay. everybody's gonna see it. Yeah, that's fine. <gasps> that's what it looks like. Fancy dancy. Very fancy. Um, um, I wanna see... I need to see if you guys would see... I like that jeweled beetle. Um, Bittersweet would probably be able to see into the next room. So, Bittersweet, for your benefit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say anything. Um, all right, and this is this is a good time to end. 